Hi, let's see how long it takes people to join. Yeah. Oh. One person's here. Someone is out there. Um, I don't know who though. Dude, stop chewing on my foot. No. Oh, it's Amelia. Hey guys. How you doing? Hello. I can have a wallet. Oh, no, you're, you're good. <laughs> so this is an interesting uh, beginning to open up to. <laughs> I'll hold it. Where's Cheyenne? Oh, Cheyenne's over here. Sorry, look, this was totally not planned. Look, there's a tortoise here. Come here, Cheyenne. It's a portable tortoise. Oh, I want, yeah. So, story about the tortoise is that, so this is a sulcata, and his name is Tom because he's cruising all the time. Yeah, he was, cruises. He was found outside in Woodbury, which is the town I grew up in, and like one, one town over. He was found loose um, a couple weeks ago. And nobody claimed him, so we did. I think we're gonna keep him for programs because he's super outgoing. He eats out of your hand, and he's a lot more portable than Sharon, our big sulcata. Uh, speaking of who, uh, Sharon is in here with us today. Yep. We're gonna let her roam around, Tom cruise around, and oh. we have another tortoise that oh. has not been introduced on the channel either. Okay, okay. Here's, Sharon. here's Sharon. You should pick up. Tom. Oh, okay. Here you go, Sam. Here's a, uh, here's Tom Cruise. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's a little bit of a size difference. He was, a he has a beautiful shell. Like he yeah. was taken care of, and then just well, he outgrew that loose. forty gallon aquarium. Yeah, we think he was purposely let go. So we have these two, and also we have uh, another tortoise Who's that. Who's looking at the door? Yeah, I'll go grab him, and then we'll actually get to opening fan mail. I'm gonna try Come and here. get everything up and working. Oh, you know what? I need to turn on slow mode too. Okay. We have a leopard tortoise, guys. This is Rafiki. Hi. He is a four-year-old male leopard tortoise. Look at this beautiful shell. These are gorgeous animals. And he loves Sharon, our sulcata. He follows her all around. And he actually is really starting to, I guess, come out of his shell here at the zoo. He is always roaming around. Sharon learned how to crawl through Rex's tunnel, so she's doing that all the time. And he follows her. He had to figure it out, too, in order to keep following her. So now we have two tortoises that just kind of run through Rex's tunnel. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have tortoises roaming around during tonight's live stream, but we're mostly doing this impromptu stream so that we can open up some fan mail because it's been way too long since we did our last stream. So oh, sorry, sorry we didn't have a chance to announce this at all. This is just kind of like not last minute. We were planning it for the last couple of days. Look, wait, wait. Oh, keep, oh, yeah, keep going. Okay, okay, don't worry. You You'll see Tom, Tom cruise by. He, that we let the uh, sulcata do laps around the zoo and he goes nuts. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, um, we're just going to open some fan mail. We're going to try to do a bit of Q&A as well, uh, as much as I can. Um, are we going to do oh, yeah. the I'll iPads? Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll turn on slow mode. Okay, yeah, this is why I said we shouldn't go live yet. No, we need to go live. We needed to get going. It's already 9.30. <laughs> yeah, well, that's okay. It'll just be a late stream. It's all good. I don't know how to go live. So I think I'm just going to start yeah, by start opening, opening mail. Up. Yeah, we have actually quite a bit of mail here today that was sent directly to our facility. So it's been sitting in our office. And I just, I'm so sorry. It's been so long since our last live stream. And we also have more in our, like, just in our living room. So we have kind of a bit from both. But all of this, like, we want to open it on camera so we can thank you guys because you're all so generous. Um, I guess we'll just start with um, something from Amazon. It actually doesn't have a name, so hopefully there is a gift. Oh, here we go. Hi, Emily and Ed. Enjoy your gift from Luke Murray. Luke Murray. I don't know if I'm. Yeah. I think this is Luke that we know. Oh, nice. There we go. Thank you. Now I can read comments too and try to get some of your chat. questions. Remember There's a super chat. Link, link is here. Oh, Link is watching. Nice. Hopefully you got that shout out from a couple of videos ago. All right, so this is from Luke. Ooh. Did you run out of chocolate, Link wants to know? You know, it's been so long since we did a live stream. We pretty much did kind of run out of chocolate. So that is why we are doing it. That's actually the reason why we're doing the stream here today. Look at this. Chocolate covered pretzels or bark. Ooh. That sounds delicious. You want to try that? Sure, let me get this screen figured out first, and then yes, I will. Ed also hasn't had dinner, so no. we get to have, have all sorts. Did you have dinner at your dad's house? I did have dinner at my dad's house. I see how <laughs> Leave me at home to work on the website. Yep, exactly. Ah, bark that. Ooh! I love chocolate-covered pretzels, especially when there's more chocolate than pretzel. Just like these. You can't have this, Cheyenne. 
You know, you can have it. It's like what I want. It's so bad. Wow, that's really good. Thank you, Luke. Holy cow. Well, if you like sweet and salty mix, that's delicious. I'm glad you're not trying this because I'm just going to keep it all. Thank you, slow Luke. Load. All right, slow load is on. Slow load on? Yep. Awesome. All right. Next one is from Luna from Arizona. Oh, nice. You've got awesome rattlesnakes in Arizona. We actually just got back from a trip, which is why we haven't been very active on the Twitch stream lately. We went down to Ohio for a video and South Carolina for a couple of videos, actually. So those will be coming out soon. Also, um, this reminded me, we have a lot of egg videos still coming out, but starting this Wednesday, that's the first due date for some of our snake eggs. Our ghost bull snake clutch from Monroe uh, is actually due to maybe start hatching any time between Wednesday and Sunday. They should definitely start tipping. So we're going to have babies soon. We're very excited. Okay. Luna, right? Yeah. Luna. Okay. This What's is... wrong with the camera? I don't think anything's wrong with the camera. It looks fine. It looks fine from my end. Yeah, it's working fine on mine. Yeah, I think we're good. Hi, Dan. Are you going to help? Eh, it screen's not blurry. Yeah, I think, I think it's fine. That's your home internet. <laughs> yeah, it could be the internet. What's in there? What is in there? Oh, we've got some artwork from Luna. Hi, Luna. I love your vid. This is a snow albino cobra that is beautiful. Hi, Abby. <laughs> we still have staff here. <laughs> uh, so a snow albino cobra. That's beautiful. Oh, we've got a bracelet. Oh, it's like a, an Among Us bracelet. Uh, I'm going to put that on right away. And what is this? An Amazon? Is that an Alexa? I don't, I don't know. I, I've never had an Alexa before. I've always been curious. Can you get Alexas, like, if they're registered to somebody else's account? Could we, like, order things on their account we, through this Alexa? We might be able to. Oh, we could order all the chocolate that would be delivered to their house. Remember the person who saw us running in the uh, Atlanta airport and then said, we just couldn't do it, they're in here? Yeah, yeah. It's oh, Ash Zing. Oh, well, hello. Sorry we couldn't say hi to you at the Atlanta airport uh, last earlier this week. That would have been... Sunday. I think that was Sunday. Uh, or Monday. I don't know. It was all a blur. But yeah, I think this is an Amazon Alexa. It's totally an Amazon Alexa. Should we here. plug it in and see if sure. it works? It's connected to a I race car. I imagine some kid just took an Amazon Alexa off their parents' table. Do your parents know you sent us an Amazon Alexa? Wow. Oh dear. Died it all up. Well, we're going to have to plug it in and see if it works for sure. Thank you, Luna. I hope you're not in trouble that I, now that I'm out, I'll open this on oh, screen. I don't, I don't know. They probably have some security protection in, in place, so we might not even be able to use it. We'll find out. We'll, we'll plug it in and see if we can turn it on sometime during the, the stream here. I'll try to, looks like there's a good spot right here for artwork. I'll try to store the uh, artwork over there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this, is a, this is a heavy box, actually. Ooh, this is from Macy and Briley in Missouri. Ooh, don't, oh, you just, <laughs> I thought you broke the Alexa nope. already. No, nope. the Alexa's fine. <laughs> Okay, Macy and Briley. This is a heavy package. There's something solid in here. Oh, and the rule, by the way, is all jewelry and accessories we have to put on. Okay. Isn't that the rule every time? It is, but sometimes we forget. So oh. I'm just stating that that is the rule. Okay. Oh, that's why this is so heavy. There's slices of wood in here. That would do it, actually. These could work as like little bases for some plants I have at home. I can actually use these. This is awesome. What do you think? What do you think? What is that? You can't step up onto it. You're going to chew it? No, you just want to step up onto it. Yay! Good girl. Okay, we've got a couple slices there. Ooh, we have some more? That's like... Oh, shoot. I took a class in college where I had to identify the tree species by its um, uh, firewood, essentially. Um, I think this would be red pine, but I don't know for sure. I think it's red pine. What do you think? Red pine? You don't know. You didn't take the class. But yeah, if I had to guess, I'd say red pine. Oh yeah. my goodness. And That's there's questions. Good. You think so? Okay. Yeah. There's I grew up around red pine. Let's see. Uh, oh, Ed, so what is your favorite Pokemon? Bidoof. Everybody of course, knows that. Bidoof, yes. Uh, my, what is Emily? Emily, what is your favorite type of music? Electro swing. Electro swing. It's got to be electro swing. Uh, Ed, what is your favorite soda? Or pop, as it's called up here in Minnesota. Uh, Coke. 
zero coke right now. Really? I've been going through. Nice. A fix on. I'm a big Mountain Dew person. That's probably my favorite. Ooh, I need a package. Thank you. Thank you, Riley. And I'm so sorry. It's been a long weekend. Macy, yeah. that's right. Thank you, Riley and Macy. Oh, I got like a present. Did you? Yeah. It's like wrapped and everything. Wow. We have, oh my gosh, the Alexa's charging. Is it? It works. Okay, we're going to play with this <laughs> once it has time to <laughs> no, charge. I don't know if we're supposed to have that. That's. Hi, Emily and Chris. I really enjoy watching <laughs> your videos. Chris now. But it's. It is why way too far for me since I am in Kuwait. I hope we can chat uh, in my rescue account, Tortoise Rescue underscore KWT from Aww. Aisha. Oh, Aisha, thank you. Who's Chris? I don't know. You're, who's Chris? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's on you, Missy. I was trying to play dumb so you don't pick up that I have another boyfriend named Chris. You're supposed to be like, oh, yeah, it's cool that she named yeah. you by name. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, what is that? Well, there's a bunch of iguanas on it. Are those bookmarks? I think they are. I think they're iguana bookmarks. Oh, oh and some chameleon. Cool. Oh my gosh, a bunch of bookmarks. Oh, nice. Woo, you should hold these up to the camera. Yeah. Aisha, these are awesome. Here you go. Oh, here's another one. Oh, there's so many bookmarks. Oh, Sweet, that one. things we can hand out. Here's another one. Whoa. I don't have enough hands. I bet our staff would like some of those. They're oh, upside down. Facts on the back. That's super cool. Thank you, Aisha. We can. I'm actually reading the Aragon series right now. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, so I could definitely use those, actually. So otherwise, I dog eat you the page, and I feel guilty every time I do that. So thank you. I'm gonna. This I'm is gonna from, see if the camera is like needs to be cleaned. <laughs> I think it's. I don't know which camera lens it is, but. Well, you're all getting cleaned, guys. Yeah, you're getting cleaned. You guys are all dirty. There we go. That I seems have... better, maybe. Uh, this is from Isabel in Vermont. It says Pokemon on the package. So it makes me wonder what could be in here. Oh, she drew a Leafeon. Nice. That's really cute, actually. I'm going to put that right here. I think you can see it. Yeah, I think you can see it there. And we have freeze-dried apple slices. Ooh, do you want a freeze-dried apple slice? Do you want to try one? Oh, wow. Sorry, apple slice dust. Oh, I thought she say. farted or something. <laughs> That'd be an intense fart. Oh, wow, that's delicious. Do you want it? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, she approved. Nice. Thank you, Isabel. And there's also... If I'm missing anything. There is a pen for Ed to click. His favorite thing in the world. There you go. Your pen from Isabel. And we have... Hi, my name is Isabel and I'm 11. I've been watching your videos for several years. I got dried apples for Cheyenne and I hope she likes them. Is that good? Oh yeah, she likes them. Thank you. <laughs> I sent you a poster and some of my art. What is this poster? Oh my gosh, it's Rick and Morty. Oh, wow. Oh, That's amazing. That's really cool, Isabel. Oh, we're gonna have to find a good place to to hang this, maybe new house somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. You just dropping hints. Dropping the hints. Channel. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but if I... you watch these streams, you get to learn insider info. Like, well, so not going to do a house tour. So. Not doing a house yeah. tour? Okay. Yeah, that kind of seems weird. Yeah. Because it's like not the We're end. not keeping many reptiles. Yeah, everything is here. Facilities, it's so. like, you don't, you'd, that'd be boring to watch yeah, anyway. Exactly. Like, not your house. Okay. So, thank you so much, Isabel. That was really nice of you. This is from Lulu in. Hey Jesse. Another country. Hey Jesse. I don't know. Jesse's eight. Aw, Jesse's eight. That's cute. Don't know where Lulu is from, but it's somewhere in the national because the queen is on here. Whoa. That's a huge snake. Giant snake. Oh my Plushy. gosh. Oh. Wow. That's bigger than the plushies we have in the store. Who makes this? Oh, it's a Fiesta Proc plush. Is that a good? Like a cool brand. Well, I just I know of it now. Yeah. Like before huh. this season. Uh -huh. awesome. We carry plushes in the store now. Yep. And Ed has done so much research on plushes in the last three yeah, months. It's ridiculous how many plushes there. <laughs> oh, it changes color. Yeah, it changes. You gotta go up the side. This way. Oh, that's cool. Nice. It's like Deadpool colors. I bet Cheyenne would be freaked out by it. Do we want? Oh yeah, she doesn't like it. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. 
So blue lucid. Where Who sent you? that? Um, it's on this side. This is from uh, Rethan with the YouTube channel Little Zebra Dragons. They wanted to shout out. So there you go, Rethan. Thank you for the snake. That's awesome. Okay, Lulu, I will get to yours. I promise. Accepted flakes. How is this wrapped? This is attached to the. I need a knife. I'll do machete next time. Here we go. There goes Tom. Yep. Tom's cruising that way now. Yep. Okay. Oh, there's like a bunch of. Oh, there's artwork in here. I love artwork. Cute. Lulu says artwork of I am my own pillows. And for all your biggest noodles, that's cute. It's like an albino bird. Oh, cute. And one of Rex. Super cute. Hopefully you can kind of see those on screen. Hopefully I'm getting them close enough. Okay, and then there's also a bag of something. Oh, this is coffee. Guatemalan coffee. Oh, nice. oh my gosh, it might be some Guatemala. Oh, that makes sense. Ooh, that smells good too. We recently learned what this little plastic thing is in a bag of coffee, um, and we will teach you in a video coming out soon. Yeah. But it's not just for smelling of the, the scent of the coffee. Cool, cool. And this is, oh, this is a note from Lulu. The coffee is a locally grinded one, ground one, and the brand, grinded, <laughs> grinded ground, you know. The brand is a local coffee shop called The Brew. In my family's opinion, the coffee is the best. Uh, I know you like caribou coffee. True, I had that today. Um, talking to you, Emily. Uh, but I thought you might like to try some Irish coffee. Oh, interesting. Ooh, absolutely. I cannot wait to try that. Thank you, Lulu. That was really thoughtful. Yeah. Never tried that brand before. Okay, yeah, we are definitely trying also, that. I opened it, but it's all to you. Oh, cute. I think there's a couple bibs for Shania. Oh, Shania. Yeah, I can put, oh, these are really cute. It's like a, um, eh, it's a weed plant. <laughs> I think it's legal in a lot of places. Wait, it? Oh, what? it's a Japanese maple. Japanese maple tree leaves. There we go. And a sea turtle one. Let's see, there's a little snaps. It's just a bib. It's just a like, try. No, how don't you want it? You can't put it on me. There. Oh, cute little bib. Oh, that's adorable on you. There we go. That'll keep her occupied. Actually. It's a really well. And then from cool. Thank Rob, you. my love, wait, Raimi's love my purses. From oh, the Amy big... Yoist. Or oh, Amy. Like our Amy's love my purses our is the Amy's. business name. Yep. Oh, she makes purses. Cool. So we've got a bird on one side, a cute snake on the other, and snakes on the strap. That is really cute. Aww, it's like all snappy. Cool. No, oh, we're gosh. live right now, by the way. It's just really late because oh, that's yeah. our lives now. Oh, look at this. Okay. This is a purse by our Amy's Love My Purses. And it's full of pockets, which is the best part about purses. Look at all those pockets. That's awesome. That's really cute, too. So I guess if you want to check them out, there you go. Hopefully that uh, is in focus. That's super cute, though. I love the tie yep, that colors. Totally Thank you, Amy. That was really nice, too. You guys are all so thoughtful. Yeah. No, we're so lucky to have you. Let's see, I'm gonna set this over here. I don't want the tortoises to walk on it, so. Okay, I'll keep it next to the yeah. table. I don't know where the tortoises are. Like, these uh, two, oh, he's over there trying yeah, to eat Yeah, Tom's the over there. Okay. Yeah, he'll try to eat your shoes probably too. Yeah. Okay, this is from uh, Enzo from the UK. Shane, you don't have to be on me right now. It's it's, okay. She's like, I don't like it's this, okay. this bib. Deep breaths, calm down. I know you're tired. But it's okay. Yeah, you're okay. All right, we're good. <laughs> uh, this is from, yes, Enzo. Huh, we have a snake named Enzo. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right, let's see. Sorry, there's a lot of tape on here, so I'm just going to have to go ahead and cut this out. I'm sorry, don't wait. If you really don't want this on, <laughs> I won't make you. Oh, those are strong snaps. Okay, I have a go. package from an Emily. Oh. Says, hi, I'm Emily. My name is Emily. Also, I'm 28. Nice name. Uh, do We'll kind of cut this guy open. Soon I think the machete is going to be needed. Eh. What is this? Now you're all in a good mood because I took the <laughs> See, life isn't too bad, huh? You just have this to was it. also sent during oh. Christmas of 2020, apparently. Yeah, that definitely Got says... cover up her face. Definitely there says Merry Christmas 2020 on there. Yeah, this one was at the uh, 
This is at Hoth. At, at Hoth. Hoth. And it apparently... Look, Shane gets let's... old banana oh, chips. Nice. Oh, that can't go bad. You get the banana chips. And organic coconut chips. Oh, cool. Oh my they're all gosh. dry, too. And Ed gets chocolate covered pretzels. Oh, nice. Ed's favorite. Oh, and no. Shane gets uh, oh birdie baked bread. Wow. Birdie munchies. Shane, do you want to try one? Do you want a birdie cookie? Here. These last forever. And we got espresso beans and dark chocolate. Oh, Emily. Chocolate raspberry. Ooh. Raspberries in dark chocolate. That's going to be one of Emily's favorites. Favorite flavors, yes. Peppermint and dark chocolate. I think these are all dark chocolate. I'm pretty sure these are mine. I can't Oh, wait, I don't want the beans one. It's the coffee one. And then... There, I got it. And then a coffee crunch. You want a cookie? Awesome. You got to sneeze. Ready? Bless you. Come on. A chew. That doesn't count. Do a good one for the camera. Ready? Ready? Okay, baby sneeze. All right. Bless you, good girl. Okay, mm, feather cookie. test. Oh, she likes it. Feather test. Feather test. On Amazon. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an Amazon. What was that? Uh, tail feather? Uh, I think that's a tail feather. I don't know if it says in here. Nice. I kind of quickly ran through them. Uh, Amazon's the feathered bowling balls of yep. the parrot world. And we got nice. tea. Oh, you dropped a cookie. What did you do that for? You're waiting for other snacks? Yeah, she's like, I Apparently. know there's other snacks coming, Mom. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Enzo sent Cheyenne. Cheyenne's not that good, guys. No. <laughs> Enzo sent Cheyenne a toy. Aw. Let's see if it came from a different country. So let me see if there's a, uh, there is a note in here. Hi, my name is Enzo. I am 11, and I am from the UK in uh, Norway. I think in Norway. I have saved my money to buy Cheyenne a toy for the facility. Oh. Watching your videos every day as soon as they come out, I have seen that Cheyenne loves ripping things, that she does. Uh, so I bought her this, the scrunchiest thing I could find. My favorite one of your pets is all of them. Aww. <laughs> cool, thank you, Enzo. Here, do you want a toy? <gasps> get it, get it. Wow, she is into everything tonight. She's not like ignoring things. Get it. Good girl. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, yay. Okay, you just want, oh, there it goes. We'll hang it on our play stand after this. Oh, thank you, Enzo. Cheyenne loves it. So, and she will continue loving it after this. So the mo that monkey business said, hi from Michigan, the state with the best roads. Michigan? Yeah. Michigan, what? That's got to be, like, ironic. Michigan oh. has the, the the worst. Yes. I feel like it was a joke. Yeah, I guarantee okay. it was a okay. joke. Okay, I hope that was a joke. Also, they want to know if we're ever going to release a Rex plush. A Rex plush? Ooh, we thought about doing a Rex plush. Uh, we have, well, like, a prototype made. It's actually in the office right now. It's, like, this big, uh, including tail, and it looks like her. It's cute. Um, but it would have had to cost, like, $30 for something this big in order for us to, like, make our money back and make, like, $5 on top of it. So we're like, I have that price. I don't think anyone's going to want no, it. So we just didn't do it. do it. We'll find me something in the future. Yeah, we have something that we consider our Rex plush in the store right now, but it's not made specifically from her. But it looks... I don't think we actually have any in stock right we now. Do. We do. Uh, Abby and I just stocked a bunch. Oh, did we get Yeah, okay. yeah. They found a, a box. Perfect. Yes, yeah, so we have a bunch of um, baby Rexes, is what we call them. So anyway... Oh, okay. here's a... This is from <laughs> Meg, and it's a store warming gift. Storm so, warming. Uh, oh, happy storm warming. We're about warming. a year old from that. It's but still good. It'll be it fine. Fit nice. Those bars look great. Nice. Rainy day espresso, sea salt, sunny salted almond. Oh, truffle bar? Okay, these are going on my side. I think you need to eat one of them. Okay, I can do that. How about. This is from Seattle Chocolate. Ooh, is Seattle known for chocolate? I know they're known for coffee. Yeah, true. Let's see, I'm going to try rainy, rainy Day Espresso. She also says there are three, so I'm sure Ed can have some, <laughs> question mark. No, no, they're all mine. The salted ar uh, almond is good, but I, but she likes the espresso. Oh, she does? Mm -hmm. She likes, oh, perfect. Oh my gosh. You're not going to like it. It's coffee. That's good, though. That's, That's a strong great, coffee flavor. Yeah. That's a great, don't eat the toy, Sharon. Mm. <laughs> okay, anything that looks remotely like food to a tortoise has to stay on the I table. mean, okay, the Tom Cruise there 
was oh, yeah. going after this part of my shoe. Yeah, they try to eat everything that's a bright color, so I guess I can understand why this looked like food. Sherry, you ate a whole salad today. And you have hay. You have hay for the next few days. You'll be fine. Okay. Merry Thank Christmas! You. I've enjoyed watching your videos and eventually got my own snakes. Sorry. They are wandering garters, uh, wandering garters and a ribbon. Uh, oh, okay. From Nevada? Nevada in oh. Colorado. Nice. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's the Pokemon cards in a, in a box. Oh, Pokemon cards. Cool. Man, we have so many Pokemon cards thanks to you guys. That's nice of you. This? Okay. Go Gonna go through? Okay, perfect. Sherry, you can't fit under there. Why? She's like, yes, I can. Okay, you can try to fit under and the chair. Oh, sweet. This phone focuses really fast. Nice. Quickly look and see if there's anything really good. I'm looking on the screen to see what you're uh, showing everyone, but I have a delay, so. I saw a Machamp there, I think, or Machoke. That's a cool one. There's some good cards. I like yeah. it. Excellent. Hi, Red King Reptiles. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna open this one. Sweet. This is from Thank K you, Nevaeh. Thank you. This is from K Mills in Virginia. Okay. Ooh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Oh, it's SpongeBob's house. Nice. Oh, that's cute. He lives in a pineapple under the sea. Okay, so I think. I have pooped all over this chair already. Yeah, she's a, a pooping machine, and now I have a Silcata tortoise that's about to run me over over here. Yep. Followed, and another one. Followed by a leopard tortoise. This is cute. We can definitely use this for like some small baby snakes. Maybe they can fit through the little oh, that'd windows. Be amazing. That'd be really cute for a baby. Then. Mm -hmm. Oh, how about all those baby garters that are right. that are from Adoption Island right now? They can all. Okay, this is gonna go to Adoption Island. Our baby garter snakes after this. We have a bunch of things. Ooh, there's that cute canvas in here. Ah. And again, this is from Cave Mills. What are you trying to eat now? But you can't. Okay, are you trying to eat the envelope? No, she's just pushing. She's trying to push. Would you just go over here, turn around, go that way? Okay, now we're good. Tortoises, they they go everywhere. Aw, that's a cute, that's a cute canvas of our logo. You even got like the lines with the darker colors of the green. Nice job. That's really cute. It's gonna be amazing to see on stream here in a second. I'm just gonna pause and watch. Oh, we're just gonna. There goes Sharon. <laughs> This oh, is them. And there goes Rafiki. Constantly. He <laughs> follows her everywhere. My screen's delayed. I'm only just seeing the share now. <laughs> okay, there they go. Alright, so from Patience, uh, what is Ed's favorite tea? There's his peppermint. Uh, I like English or Irish breakfast. Irish breakfast. You like the twinnings or twinings? Twinings, yeah, they're twinings good. Twinings brand, yeah. Uh, what is the best starter gecko? Best starter gecko? Yeah. Either a leopard gecko or crested gecko. Probably crested gecko. I'll go with lychee. <laughs> What's sweet? Okay, I'll go with mossy leaf tail or satanic leaf tail. That's what? a good beginner gecko. I mean, in all fairness, leeches are easy. They're just expensive. That's true. They are just expensive. Yeah. They're what more hardy. snake website do you recommend to buy a piebald ball python from? A piebald ball python? Yeah. I mean, locally to yeah. us? We recommend just going to a, a store. Or yeah. A, a or like show. a show. Yeah. Our local breeders, as far as I'm aware for ball pythons, would be JSA Reptiles, Dave Kaufman Breeds Pites, and Kyle's Reptiles, yep. to name a few of them. Yeah, you can buy a Morph Market's a good one to buy. Yeah. There's some of Patience drawings. Aww. Those are cute. I got yeah, to see through like them a little tree. bit. Yeah, that's really cute. Oh, sweet. This Look at this. Tape. Blackberry yeah. green tea. Ooh, that's cool. Is that actually what's in it, too? I oh, it sounds so. like, sounds it. like it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, okay, um, oh, a picture of you. Cranberry tea. Hi, my name is Kayla. I am 19 years old. Shan, no, you can stay. You can stay here. I'm a huge fan. Your channel got me through the oh, the death of my grandfather. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Uh, enclosed, I have given you a fake plant, a SpongeBob hide, fish decoration. Oh, man, there's just a ton of stuff in here. Oh, thank you, Kayla. Oh, man, what all did you... There is a bunch. It's all individually wrapped, too. Whoa, he's following the wrong suppository oh, now. He's confused. Run, 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 run Tom, run! Run! <laughs> okay. Oh, we've got yeah, fish decoration. We can use those for our reptiles too. Like, especially for Adoption Island. We are getting so many animals surrendered. Patience Whoa. also sent you some chocolate. Oh, I like little, little bars. bars. Little bars are perfect. Oh, and coffee? And coffee. Oh my gosh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
I have not tried a new coffee in a while, and these two I am very excited to try tomorrow. <laughs> we have tomorrow off, too. We do. Perfect. Totally. And we, we can a, enjoy. We need a break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a crazy last week or so at the facility. Oh, man. We've got a hand-painted container in here. Oh, with all sorts of little goodies. Cute. Uh -huh. And we've got tortoises roaming around. Look yeah, at that. Pinky. She's over there. Yeah, your girlfriend's that way, we're thinking. It's like he's looking at both of them, trying to figure he's out like, Wait. which one is his girlfriend. Oh, there she is. Ah, yeah, go get it. <laughs> All right, Tom. Tom's trying to run into the wall. There. Yeah, go that way. <laughs> we have a book, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. This book, it's a big, like a famous book. Yep. But I've never, have you read this? I think so. There's a... There's a movie series about it, or a oh, really? movie or TV series about wow. it, I can't remember. Oh. Well, thank you so much, Kayla. These are really thoughtful gifts. Let's see, I can put, uh, I'm going to put these together in here so that I remember they came from you, and then I can give them to our baby garters. Thank you. So, Aisha, Aisha, I'm pretty sure, yeah. sent Cheyenne. Oh, it's one of the anti-plucking collars. It's anti-plucking collars. Aww. Okay, well, from Bubbles Beak Boutique. Okay, I yep. think we've tried, not this brand, actually. We tried something similar that was too stretchy, and she just slipped it off right and away. It's too, there's instructions on how to, like, open it up. Oh, cool. Fit, so. Nice, well, awesome. if we want to try a break from the sweaters at any point, yeah. we can see if this... Or just this... do both. She could look like a sunflower. <laughs> she would look really cute. You want this on? What was that for? Okay. <laughs> no. Well... We'll hang on to this so that we can try it one of these days. She seems to like this sweater, so maybe when that gets eventually... Yeah, when she gets done with that yeah, one. Yeah, when she's done with it, that'll work. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Aisha. Why do we have random books in here? I'll just hand you some books. I don't really know why there's, there's books in there. and geckos. Um, yeah, there's just... I think we accidentally oh, wait. put books in the... This might be from them? This how to how train to your parrot? Nice. I think this came with a hyacinth macaw. This, oh, feather. it is. Yeah. Okay. Here it is. Aw, cool. Man, between bird tricks and a how to train your parrot book, we're going to be set on how to train you. I'm going to put this over here. You want to be trained? Want to be trained? Dearest Mom? Emily, I hope you enjoy reading my book. It's a bestseller on Amazon before I pulled it off the shelves. May this oh. book bless you and give you the knowledge for birds. I love everything that you are doing. Wow. Love. This is from the Caroline. author? Is that from yeah, Caroline. Yeah, from Caroline. Whoa. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Caroline. I can't wait to read through this because there's always more to learn when it comes to bird training. There's so many different techniques because some work better than others for certain birds. Thank you. You're a special bird. You're a special bird. It's your favorite game. That looks like it'll be pretty fun to open. Oh, okay. Thank you, Caroline, for this. This is really nice. All right. I have some reading material to do after this. Okay, so this. Sharon, really? Sharon. Why'd you have to go in there? You're just going to have to back up. Yep. All right, she you was, got yourself in that she'll predicament. She'll just push her way through. There's a bunch of stacked chairs. And I'll just show. Yeah, here, that will show you what Sharon does when she's in the classroom. All the time. Which is why she doesn't stay in the classroom often. So, yeah, she does that. Yeah. Can I, like, zoom in? Oh, I can. Oh. Go, Sharon, go. I believe in you. <laughs> you can get out of that mess. Come on, Sharon. Go, Sharon. Go. <laughs> <laughs> we have something from Arthropod Ambassadors. It's a bunch of praying. Can you show these on screen? It's a bunch of praying mantis stickers. Oh, sweet. Oh, there's a tailless whip scorpion sticker. Yeah. Can you show those up close? Just pull a couple up. Okay. Okay. These are sweet. Oh, here's another one. That's cool. Okay. So okay, I'll read the note while Ed is showing this. Sure. Ed, Ed, thanks for all you do. Uh, hearing so many people confront the fear of snakes and other critters after your influence is heartwarming. Thank you. Watching your progress on the facility has also been a uh, great inspiration for a bug zoo I am working on. Oh, cool. I well, that'd be some sweet. Insect pins, magnets, and stickers I made, as well as a few stickers from a very talented friend, Jesse, at Shapes in Nature, who supports conservation efforts with his art. Huh, more at shapesinnature.com. Enjoy from Aaron at Arthropod Ambassadors. There is, oh, there's also a feather test. Oh, Okay. I guess I can do the feather test. Yeah, okay. So I have, know. Yep, I've got the answer. How'd you get out? Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna show you the answer to the feather test. Not you, them. I'll look this way. Let's see if I can find the find feather. Is the, oh, and the feather is in here. 
Okay, hang on, guys. I'm coming. So. So I shouldn't look at the live stream right now? Yeah, don't look at the okay. stream. Don't cheat. Okay, so we have no contact info. Okay. This is the answer right there. And then the feather that Ed's going to try to guess from. Oh, is it that one? I think it's that one. Maybe it's not. Let me open this up. Let's see if there's another inside. I think it's that little one, though. That's my, my guess. But it seems folded as if... Aha! Oh, there's a bunch in there. That wasn't focused the whole time. Look at that. Okay. So, focus camera. These are... There we go. These are the feathers that he has to choose from. You know, I think I can see it. I think I can tell what that would be. Okay, here you go. All right, feathers. Bunch of them. All from the same bird. But will he guess this right there? Do you know? I feel like I should. We see these a lot at bird fairs. This is, is, it, like, is it green sheet? No. It's like... Smaller use, or bigger than Smaller. Than Molly. Is it a linen Nope. It is a type of parakeet. It's a pink parakeet. What's the only pink parakeet? Starts with a B. Forks? Yeah, a horse parakeet. Okay, there you yeah, go. I never got that. I don't know what forks look like. Cute little pink feathers. Oh, I love it. So cool. all the parrot, Thank all the you. feather tests have to go to Emily, I guess. <laughs> I'm no good at them. Yeah, you got it eventually. You just need a couple clues. So this is a Pokemon that. card. Booster pack thing. Oh wow! From Margaret, who says, "Looking to fear not tarantulas, who we're friends with." Yep, we don't fear and not. Jamie's tarantulas for the best breeders of specific species. The moment your invert section is up and running, let me know. I'll donate a tarantula or two. Oh, well, that was a year ago. That so. must have been from a while ago. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's really nice of you to offer that, though. We get to do a fun a, a package, uh, a pack opening. Nice. Oh, we can be like those YouTubers who yeah. only open Pokemon cards. And have and get millions, millions of subscribers. Yeah, have millions of subscribers. Okay, I'm gonna start opening this. Okay. Oh, there's no name on this one. So we have. Ooh, we have the good card. I think. I think that's the good one. Oh well, whoever Focus. can play it first, then. Yeah. If go. anybody wants to. There you go. If you can get the thingy. Okay. Wee. Okay. Oh, All right. Jeez. Here we go. Doop. Doop. Oh, it's a Wurmple and a Litwick. I like these ones. The ones that are crocheted. Oh, it's one of those? Nice. Cute. And it's a... Sulcata. Oh, it's a Sulcata. Yeah. Blaze Falon. I've never heard of that Pokemon before. Whoa. All right. So... Have you ever heard of a Blaze Falon? It's a nice not. card. It's what a, does that look it's like? It's a GX full oh, GX card. Oh, that looks card. cool. That must be from a new generation I haven't reached yet. Yeah. Yep. That looks kind of cool though. It does. This is from Audrey. There's a snake painted as Cheyenne. <laughs> Look at you. Vanny101 goes, my husband's a poke tuber. <laughs> poke tuber? Nice. <laughs> Sorry, we just teased your husband there. Oh, it's an ultra beast from Sun and Moon. Uh, That's the one I beat. You gave up on. Oh, I gave up on Sun and Moon. Gym-ish. Yeah, I didn't like this, the style of Sun and Moon. That's, yeah. Uh, Sharon's trying to dig into the. Sharon's digging. Yeah, she's trying. Yep. Tom's cruising. And uh, you're playing with Cheyenne. Get it. Get it, Good girl. She likes it. Okay. Is it a hat? No, it is not a hat. Thank you, Aubrey. I'm going to put this right there. I love how you're trying to sink into Cheyenne. And there's Pokemon cards in here, too. These are really cute. Aww. And some of them are, are right. original cards, too. Thank you. There you go. You have a package now. Thank oh, okay. okay. Here we go. This is from Kelly in oh, Puerto Rico. I'll do this one first. Oh, oh my gosh. So this is from, oh, also from Margaret. Oh. Y'all need more tarantulas. This will get you started. Looking <laughs> forward to seeing the invert section of your reptiles. Here. She's really pushing for us to get a lot of tarantulas. That is awesome. What it's one of those oh. metal, like they use, so when I was a kid, they were wood. Yeah, now they're metal? Now I guess they're metal. I used to put together so many of those puzzles. Did you really? Oh, I had I had like 30 of them. I've never seen something like this before, and the camera does not want to focus. Put well, it right in the middle. I did. It's, yeah, it's right like this. Closer. You have a delay. Oh, I think yeah, this I is too close. Okay, so I'm going to hold it there. Yeah, it's hopeless. I can never get these things to... That looks good to me. No, that's totally blurry. <laughs> What? Somebody wants to send you a custom lightsaber if you promise to chase me with it. 
Can I have it after you chase me? Oh my that? gosh. That'd be amazing. Yes, I will. Ch I'll chase whoever you want for a custom <laughs> lightsaber. That sounds amazing. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> Should we try Oh, that was from Ashley, by the way, the one who we almost ran into. In oh, the, yeah, the that's port. from Atlanta? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, should we try the Alexa? Mark, you're welcome for getting over your fear of uh, snakes. Whatever that yeah. thing is that we deal with a lot. What is it? Alexa's talking. Alexa, what do you tell Alexa to do? Oh my gosh, she hurt me! I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. She can't connect to the internet. That's there's. How do we connect her to the internet? We've never had an Alexa before. I think it's already set to someone's account. <laughs> I don't know. Well, let's connect it to the internet. I don't know how. How do you connect? I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. How do you connect these to the internet? Can someone explain? Uh, mine has more of a delay. I'm going to look at yours. I think you have to connect it. I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, don't know how it works. Oh, uh, Mizumi says to connect Alexa, you need to download the Amazon Alexa. Oh, that's, no, I scrolled past. That's way too much no! work. No. Okay. You should shut her off. She's annoying. Uh, Alexa, stop talking. Alexa, quiet. Alexa, go to sleep. I'm having trouble connecting. <laughs> I don't know what to do. She'll just sit there. Okay. <laughs> Alexa confuses me. <laughs> oh my gosh, lizard lover! How many monkey tail skinks are in the world? Are in the world? I thought you were going to ask. Are in our uh, zoo, zoo enclosure? We, we have, have three <laughs> in the zoo enclosure. We want to add one more. Uh, in the world, if I were to guess, they're imported all the time, so they've yeah, got to have high numbers. Everywhere. Where are they from? They're from an island, aren't they? Yeah, is it the Solomon Islands? Uh, yes. Yeah, oh, they're the Solomon Islands, yeah. Yeah, they're the Solomon I from the Solomon Islands. So I'm going to go with... I'm going to say 800,000. I'm going to go with 2.7 billion. Oh, wow, there's yeah. a bit of a range there. Yeah. Somewhere in that range <laughs> is the correct answer. <laughs> All right, so this has been sitting long enough. This is from Kelly in Puerto Rico. And we have, ooh, there's a feather test. Cool. Oh, I have to do that. Okay, okay, here, I'll hold. You take all that because I don't want to ruin the feather test. Oh, there's a cool lizard that she must, inter uh, that they must interact with in Puerto Kelly. Rico. From Puerto Rico, aspiring veterinary technician. There's I don't know oh, when, but they were working on their first year when they sent us. Oh, okay, cool. Is there uh, a date? Um, I think there's a date. Oh, yeah, October 2020. Oh, so we're like a couple years old. Two years. You're probably still in vet tech classes. Okay, hopefully it's going well for you. They sent a box full. In the of box, these. we have Caribbean chocolates. The big one is hot chocolate. You can melt with milk. I believe the instructions are on the like paper. This? Oh no, this is coffee! Uh, More coffee! There's oh, also a bag of you. gourmet Puerto Rican coffee. Ooh, it's a Puerto Rican coffee. Wow, it's a different smell than most coffee. Do you like coffee? Yes, okay. I do. Thank oh, you. Oh, you're never going to get this. We have a coffee maker at our this facility. Is even to have, but here you go. What do you think it is? Well, is it native to the States? Maybe. Is it a migratory bird of the States? Because if it is, it doesn't exist. That's true. I'll look. Okay. <laughs> Might not be able to show that feather. <laughs> okay. So, we also sent coconut cream snacks. Okay, we have to choose one of these to try on camera, and then we can save all the others for later. There is, should we try coconut cream, coconut pineapple, coconut guava, um, more coconut. There's pilonies. Is that spicy? That yep. looks spicy. We can't have this. This feather does not exist. No, I can't show that feather. Oh. I'm sorry. If it's a species that we that shouldn't have been sent, we can't show it yep. on. If it's protected, basically. How did you get on me? Okay, we had to try one of these. Hopefully somebody has a suggestion, because I don't know which one to do. There's also... The statue of, uh, is of a coke cube. Oh, there's a statue in here? Yeah. Let's see what this is. Oh, there's also, ooh, sesame and almonds and honey snacks. Okay, executive decision since nobody has chosen one. We're trying this. Okay. Well, hi! You are oh, so happy now. Here, can you open this? I'm gonna open the, you said it was a statue in here? Yep. Okay, oh, it's really well wrapped. I can put it on there. Don't eat it, George. Oh, they're all walking into corners anyway. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, they're good. Aw, how cute! 
That's a really cute Puerto Rican frog, I'm sure. Cute little statue there. It's called there. a coquit. A coquit. Oh, and you can send them. They are there. named after the sound they make. Really? Mm hmm. I think they're called as coquit. Probably. Huh. Oh, that's an interesting case. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that is weird. You want to try it? They said they're a little statue. It's a coquit native to the island. They are a species of frog that sing their name like a Pokemon. Ah, that's cool. That is a, an interesting taste. Mm -hmm. I can't place that flavor. It's like toasted sesame. Toasted sesame, yeah. With like, is that like a vanilla flavor in there? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. That is pretty good though. There are bags of Puerto Rican Thank and you. Dominican candies. And as soon as the pandemic is over, uh, they want to come visit this. Thank you. Coffee, Kelly. chocolate. Thank you, thank you, Kelly. Way too much stuff. What is you have to send us some. This is like a taste of Puerto Rico. I'll open one other one. Yeah, we should try at least one more. Yeah. Yeah. You in there? Yeah. Which one? Not the spicy one. Unless you try the spicy and I try. That's spicy. I don't know. It's red. It's probably spicy. Oh, wait. Right. What's this one? Pelonies. It seems like Puerto Rico is known for sesame seeds in their candies or in their snacks. I think like everything has sesame seeds in it here. So does anyone know if if there's an Amazon Alexa on someone's out uh, someone else's account? Can we use it or is it locked to their account? Oh, I will yeah. watch for a second here. Okay. We know nothing about Amazon Alexas. We have thought, or I've thought about getting one though. So. Oh, it's, it's pronounced Koki. Koki. Oh, thank you, Koki. Thank so it's you, like Koki. Okay. Yeah. It just says its name. Ooh, coconut and pineapple? Why are you, you don't like pineapple? You're trying that? All right, I'll try it too. Coconut and pineapple snack. Hi guys, and I see nothing. Okay, Ooh. lock to their account until they deregister it. So we're kind of oh, SOL. No. Okay. Thank you, oh my God. Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. We are locked out of their account. <laughs> I'm sure a little kid just sent their Amazon Alexa to us. If you're watching and this is your Amazon Alexa <laughs> and you want it back, <laughs> Email us at info at snakesdiscovery.com. <laughs> All right, we'll somehow figure out it's your link to code. Alexa, say snake discovery is the best. Ha, I just let up everybody's Alexa. <laughs> 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 yeah, it didn't work on this one, but everybody else is watching. So we <laughs> said, stop saying Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> is it throwing all of your Alexas up? <laughs> Alexa, add eggs hmm. to the grocery list. Everybody needs those. Wait. Okay. Oh, do you have a new, a new lead? Shh. We know you can't connect to the internet. Alexa, what's your name? Ooh. Ah, same thing. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Right now. Yeah, it didn't work. If you have any other ideas, let us know. This is good. Yeah, these are these are delicious. Mm -hmm. These pineapple coconut ah. things. They remind me of the little ones that dip, are dipped in ah. chocolate you get at the airport. Yeah, this is awesome. Thank you. Okay, sorry, we're getting distracted by Alexa and everything else. Okay. Now it's just fun to say Alexa. Ah, I set ours off. Gosh, the tortoises are all in all the corners. He's digging into that fridge. She's digging into the Cayman lizard habitat. Okay, this one is apparently fragile. It's covered in words that say fragile. Uh, from Isla in Ohio. You were just in Ohio. Isla sends. Oh, it's one of these like, like insulated ones. Ooh, Isla sent horses. <gasps> nice, same brand. Awesome. I will gladly try another try uh, type of bark. Is there a note in here that I can read? Oh, there is. Okay. Here is a note from Isla. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Sorry, just saw it was in there. Okay. Dear Emily Ed, my name is Isla. I wanted to write to say thank you. You inspired me. To get reptiles of my own, thanks to you, I convinced my parents to let me buy a leopard gecko. Yeah, I found your channel because I wanted pets, but my dad is allergic to most furry things and I fell in love with the reptiles. I included one of my favorite chocolates. I would highly recommend freezing them, but they are still delicious on their own from Isla. Oh, okay. So the bark fins should be hot frozen. I'm gonna try one normal tip. And then, because your breath smells tonight, Shane. Sorry. And then, <laughs> And then we can freeze them too. I've never tried bark fins before until tonight. Now we have two. Oh, that's like it's like a thin mint without the cookiness. 
That's really good. I'm going through a mint phase right now, too. I'll freeze these and try them frozen, too. Okay. I'm trying to know. I think there's something else in here, too. Oh, there's something with birds on it from Isla. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Does it say? Let's see. I'll just open it. Uh, oh, so we're so far out. It looks like it made it successful. Is this a plate? Or is it a placeholder? A bag? A sleeve? Oh, it's a Pokemon Pokeball record. Great ball and Pokeball. Oh. Wow. That's awesome. That record has seen some days. That That's not gonna play very well. No, it's like it's like warped. That's okay. Now it's a Pokeball record. And it comes with its own sleeve. That's actually really cool. Thank you, Isla. This is really creative. And Great Ball is my favorite Pokeball, so that's perfect. Cool. Well, thank you. There you go. Oh, is this part of it yours? Yeah. No, I was trying to find a note. It was very Who drew the Cheyenne? It looks just like you. Look, it's you. Just need to add a it's sweater a now. Cheyenne, yeah. With her few sad feathers on her chest. All right. Very this accurate. This. Here, if you want to show these off. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, let's bring these up to the camera. Holy cow. All right. Look at this. Dear wow. Aunt Emily, my name is Sage. I'm 11. I'm from California. I have been watching That's the channel crazy. for a few years. Huh. Boop. I made you guys some water dishes. That's what these guys are. Oh, oh, water dishes? Yep. Okay. Yep. Some smaller ones too. And like pitchers to fill them with. And my mom made you mugs. Look at that. So I asked her to do your. I made you guys water dishes and my mom made, huh. makes mugs, so I asked her to make you some. That is awesome. You. You also, everyone's good at seeing oh, the two green tones. That's right, there was a feather test in here. Nice. Look at those. Thank you. Okay, here you go. Whoa. Feather test, if you want to go show it Ooh, off. Feather camera. test. I think I know what this is. Is it an okay species? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So this is a focus. There we go. This is a parakeet wing feather. No. No? Okay, then it's a parrotlet. No. Uh, what other small blue pet birds are there? Is it a type of finch? No. Is it a parakeet? Long tail, small bird? Don't believe so. Is it a lovebird? You grew a handful of them. Uh, what have I... Used to. What have I grew... Oh, a lineolated. Yep, ah, ha, ha, yeah, I have groomed a lot of lineys. Okay, I should have guessed that. I'm so, close. It is a small... He's parakeet. eating my shoe again. Tom, quit trying to eat Ed's shoes. She's not like scratching the cabinet, is she? No, Trying she to... can't hurt the cabinet. All right, cool. Uh, Bye, Tom. These tortoises. I, just keep going. Don't eat that. Have it. <laughs> oh my gosh, we have to keep everything colorful on the table, or they'll try to eat it. Also, that was. Going? Okay, well, Tom's under the table now. Thank you again, Sage. Yeah, thank you. That was an amazing gift. Yeah, those are really cool. All right. Got a couple it's a more massive packages. mug too. That's like it is. Like you bring that out at a, a bar if you like fill her up. Yeah, I could be like I only had one mug of coffee, <laughs> and it'd make it seem like I didn't have a whole lot. Yes, coffee was what I was thinking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, that's packed. Oh, I see shiny treats in there. Who is this from? Treats too. This is from. I'm to see oh, Helen Tritt. That's a Helen's a Patreon backer of ours. Oh, so who's it from? Helen in California. Helen in California. She gave us some what? Cheyenne nuts. Uh oh, the bugs might have gotten into them. Oh no, is there a bug in there? Weird. It's a sealed bag. How could a bug have gotten in there? I don't know. My oh. battery's running low. Oh no. I might not be able to watch the stream much longer. This little comet is just pushing all of the <laughs> boxes forward as he plows straight that way. That's awesome. Okay, well, sponsor worth, recharger. That's worth a look. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, it's going to show you my view here. This is pretty great. So he is just, he doesn't even care that there's stuff in his way. He's just going to keep on going. <laughs> oh, there's Takis in here. I saw that. Oh, Helen. You don't have to. Oh, Helen sent. Ooh, these are like mini flat waffles covered in chocolate that say oh. for Ed. You don't have to share with them. You gotta share these. These look delicious. I like how you don't even ask. You just did it. Yeah. I mean, we're married. That whatever is yours is mine. These oh, look is great. Oh, that how that works? Yes. Oh, they smell good too. Oh. 
Oh my God. You won't even know. These are going right here. Okay. Those didn't exist. They are delicious and they're mine. Sorry, sorry, Helen. I'm stealing those. Unless he remembers, then I'll let him try one. Whoa, okay. There's wafer pies in here. There's Takis, which I'm a big baby when it comes to spicy things. So I, and Ed loves Takis. So he can have these. And I'll have those delicious chocolate coated wafers. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds fair. Chocolate and coffee biscuits. Ooh, that sounds delicious too. I might also steal, no, okay. I'll let him have that. So all the lights are off in the facility and I may have ran into a door. You ran into a door? Yeah. You could have turned the lights on, you know. Uh, yeah. Maybe they turned off, but oh my gosh, look at all these things. Uh, pineapple cake. Little mini pineapple cakes. Ooh, what are we gonna try here? This one is, oh, that's what I'm trying. Caramel Oreos. Yes, please. This one even says two in the So, oh, cool. There's a couple sleeves. That might work. <coughs> Do you want Oreo? You can't have Oreo. No, sorry. Okay, this must be, oh, your laptop just died. Oh. <laughs> it's so close. So this is an Oreo with like a caramel filling, I think, instead of a normal filling. Oh my god. That's really caramely. You can't oh, have this. Whoa. Come on, this Helen, these are delicious. I've never had a caramel. This would be good in ice cream. Oh, you can like crunch it up? Okay. I'm saving these for like, I think we have ice cream at home. I'm gonna mash these up and add them to ice cream tonight. Okay, don't go that way. Okay. Stretch the mess. Mm, okay, I'll try it. Thank you, Helen, for all of these goodies. You wanna try any? Oh, good. Pineapple cake. Yes. <gasps> There's also cappuccino candies. Oh, candy. Yeah, I thought it was coffee. I thought it was coffee as well. Ew. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll try one more thing. Cappuccino candy. And then I'll actually go into my packages here. I totally just hijacked it. Yeah. yeah. But there were some really good things in there. Like, not things that I stole, of course. There we go. I'm back online. I can read comments. Hooray! You can't have this yet. Like, what happened to Anixia the boa? She's still here. Anixia turned out to be a boy! Yeah, Anixia yeah. is now... That's what happened. Nix... What are we... Nixie? On Onyx. Onyx? No! no. Anixio? I don't know. What did we switch to? I think we kind of just left it. We're still calling him Anixia. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, but Anixia's a boy. We learned that because we had to bring him to the vet because he started developing like a weird little bump by his eye. So we brought him in. Turns out, I didn't know this, snakes can get zits. And since they have scales covering their body, they can't express those zits as well as people can. And while we were there, uh, the vet kind of um, punctured it um, and like squeezed out the, the fluids, took care of it, put her on antibiotics for a while. And while we were there, we figured, yeah, let's probe her too. And she's a boy. So yeah. she's doing really well though, and she's just going through puberty. Yeah. Heat. Oh, heat. Heat. Heat's just going through puberty. Ooh, this is a really good cappuccino candy. This is going to take a long time to eat though, and it's going to be hard to chop, so I think. Alright, here, you can show off these. I'll eat it later. Oh, Whoa, look at good. how many pens I got. Oh my gosh. I can click so many I'm pens. I'm going to be clicking forever. Okay. Why do you keep sending him pens? Oh no. You're gonna do like 10 at a time. You can't even do 10 get, at a time. I have to get into the position. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is gonna be my life now. Thank you. Well, let's uh, take our attention away from Ed clicking pens and look at these <laughs> cute artwork, these cute uh, coloring pages of Rex from Silver, it looks like. Silver? Uh, yeah, I believe this is from Silver. Cute. I like him. Okay. Yep, Silver. I'm gonna have a full espresso candy later. Thankfully, there's a lot in that bag. That's really good. I just... They're from South Wales, UK. Ooh, my drawings made it a long way. Yeah, they did. And Cheyenne got some dry bealers. Oh, we can use these on our programs. We get some sweet digestives. Ooh, nice. Or you get some sweet digestives. Delicious. I love these. These you are get... really good. Oh, thank you. A 50 cent piece. Oh, what's on their coins in Wales? I don't know if we've ever looked at Wales coins before. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I think I just have, yeah, oh, we I just can have, use these. We can use these for our adoption animals too, queen. actually. Queen's the queen? 
Well, of course the queen is on all the coins. That's a sweet looking coin. Oh, it's like round, but not round. There's a... 20 pence. Huh. Is there an animal on the back of these? Thank you. Uh, this one's got a lion. Those. A lion? Okay. This one's got a feather. That one's got a dude. Oh my gosh, there's socks in here. This is... Hi, since Ed seems to have given most of his socks to Cheyenne, I thought I'd sent him some new ones. There was no... Oh, thank you. Classy. Oh my gosh. Thanks. Thanks. There was no hey. only reptile pack, so enjoy some kangaroos and whales too. Oh, sweet. So you have from Natalie some lizard, kangaroo, and whale socks. I will always take Ooh. socks. Those look sweet. Ed wears socks even when there's holes in them, and he gets so angry if I take one with a hole in the heel and I rip it so that he can't wear it anymore. I like that one! That one has a hole. Why are you wearing that? It? A hole. I don't know. What's a That's a terrible it's got sock. a hole. No, 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 get out of here. <laughs> God. That's, my sock. That's garbage. That's my sock. You have new socks from Natalie. Yeah, I do. Get rid and of that one. This one has to wear out before I it's got... It's worn no, out. No, it's that not worn out. That is 150% worn out. <laughs> not worn out yet. Oh, these are awesome <laughs> socks, though. I do like... I do like the kangaroos. <laughs> That's great. And dinosaurs. And whales. And lizards. Look at that. Okay. Ask Emily about the chocolate waffles. She hit it. Shh. Don't help me, guys. No, where's these chocolate waffles? I don't know what they're talking about. There's no such thing as chocolate waffles. That would these things are down nope, here. Nope, that, no, no, oh. no. Yes, that's them. Thank you. I need to see who said that. Why? <laughs> I wanted those. <sighs> I see whose side you're on. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Right. <sighs> I real... don't even know. How would you pronounce their name? Oh, thank you. Uh, Nishance. Nishance, Rock okay. Rockmark. Thank you, Nishance. Not thank you. Those were, those were mine to steal. They said for Ed on them. I know. I yeah, I knew you'd steal them too because they're delicious. Oh, those are good. They're <laughs> really good, right? All right back to my stuff. <gasps> well, I had a bite. <laughs> uh, those are really. That's like one of my favorite things so far. And you stole it. Okay. This is. From Angel in uh, Oregon. Okay. Oregon, not Oregon. Remember? All the Oregon natives got upset when we said Oregon. Is. Are rats with wings protected in the United States? Uh, no. Uh, oh. I don't think so, because they're a game bird. Alright. Yeah, they're good. What is this feather? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Could it be a pigeon? Whoa! Oh. But no, those are not protected, so Silver, it's okay. Silver also sent you all of these. Oh wow, a lot of chocolates. Ooh, mint lint. And all of mine are all these. Oh my gosh, what is this? Dark chocolate bar? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, and then they sent me a Toblerone. Nice. That's amazing. Toblerones are amazing. Oh, there's like And then for favorite snakes. And some snakes? Favorite snakes. Favorite snakes. Okay, Angel said... Oh, here. here we go. Dear M and Ed, hello, there are two sets of most things, so you can both share in the fun. I'm overall a paper crafter, but I dabble in other things too. Uh, thank you for all the smiles. I hope you enjoy the things I shipped over. With much love from Angel in 2020. Um, sorry, Angel, it took a while to open. Uh, let's oh, that's see. Cool. The rectangular sheets of paper, you write a wish and hang it up for good luck. Oh, that's right. That's a sweet baby snake. That has to go to the baby garters tonight, too. <laughs> All right. We're, we're going to spoil these babies. We had 27 newborn garter snakes surrendered to our adoption program. And they we had them long enough, and they've been eating long enough that they are available for adoption. But we still have 23, I think. I think we've only adopted about four. Yeah, we have a lot. We have, I think last I checked, 22 bearded dragons for adoption. I think 30 leopard geckos. We have seven or eight or nine ball pythons, a couple corns. We have two Chinese water dragons, two Euromastics. We have a pair of mangrove monitors for adoption. We have milk snake, rosy bone. The list goes on and on. Like, we were not expecting so many animals in Adoption Island. But I think right now is an odd influx because a lot of people are like traveling for the summer or they're moving because it's warm weather. And here in Minnesota, you always move in spring or summer. So people are deciding they don't want their animals anymore, can't have them anymore and surrendering them, and for the same reason, people aren't adopting them very much right now. So we have a lot of animals. 
but that's okay. It's great to be a resource for people to drop them off and have them be taken care of until we can get home. So that being said, if you're in the Twin Cities area and you want to adopt a reptile, stop by snake discovery because uh, we have a lot of animals that need homes. Anyway, okay. uh, off my soapbox. Ava from Australia. An adorable koala. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is adorable. And it's like the one from uh, down on, uh, uh, the new snake animated movie is really cute. Uh, he looks like that guy though. Oh, cute! Uh, a wolf? I don't know. No, I don't know yet. These are really, oh, they're very soft plushies. And too. a bunch of candies and Cheyenne toys. Oh, and a treats. Cheyenne treat. Oh, she's gonna love that. Oh, thank you, Ava. So many goodies in here. Come it's on. the blue wolf is for me. Oh, okay. Do you want the koala? <gasps> <laughs> Caribous, apparently. Yeah. Oh, that's what this is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that its name? Caribous? Oh, it's a tiny baby. Huh. The treat is for Shane. There. Awesome. Cute. Thank you, Ava. Thank you. All right, I'm going to finally open this from Angel. Excuse me, Angel. Whoa. It's all up for paper craft creations. Oh my gosh, there's all sorts of stuff. Okay, I have to bring this around. Hopefully she has a business card in here too. These are super cute. We've got like a paper flower. Uh, kind of hard to see on there, but look at all the details. The little wooden base, that's really cute. We have a bunch of little paper, sorry, bogus, little paper bows. Those are cute too. Camera still doesn't want to focus, but you kind of get the idea. Oh, miniature little notebooks. Oh, I really like that. Anything miniature is right up my alley. There's, dude, oh, slightly larger paper notebooks that she must have made. And uh, uh, open, there we go. That's really cute. And there's a bunch of these, actually. There's a whole pile of these little notebooks. Maybe we can hand these out to staff. We can have little notebooks. There's, Oh, just a bunch of samples of different papers. Oh, these can make like bookmarks even too. Oh, cute. I'm hoping there's a business card in here. I don't think I see one though. Thank you, Cheyenne, for printing my hair. Oh, they're actual cards. Nice. We can actually give out cards this year. Cause we always forget to do that. We always forget to buy those. Oh, bummer. I don't see a business card in here. Uh, maybe it's in here. This is from Angel. In um, Oregon. And what's, like, do they have their name on it? Uh, I don't see a business name. Man, I want to give them a shout out. Maybe they just do it for fun. They might just do it for fun, yeah. There is something in here, too. Those are really cute. You're very talented. I love all these little creations. And we can actually put them all to good use, too. We have, ooh, is something orange in a jar? Let's see. It says, the get, get. Gatchapon? Gatchapon box? Is that something? Is that this? Is this a Gatchapon box? I don't know. Oh, the sheets of paper you write a wish and you hang it up for good luck. That's what those little bookmark things are for. This is cute. I don't know what this orange thing is though. Right. What'd you send us? Oh my so, gosh, it's wet. Oh, it's slime. Is this slime? Probably. Is it edible? No. Don't eat it. It's not edible. I, can I, I would just. Right oh, now. okay. I don't think it's slime. It's like liquidy. Okay, we may have so we have a feather test coming up here soon. If I okay. can, there's one. Thank you, Angel. There's another, and there's uh, all the rest. So I'm just gonna give these to Emily and see if she can get it. Okay. Do you have do you have the answers? Yep. Do you wanna like show you them know. the answers? No. Okay. Uh, guinea fowl. Yeah. Good job for those two. Thank you. Thank right. you. Uh, uh, these three. That's a chicken. This is chicken. They're Polish chickens. Nope. No? Nope. They're chickens, they're not Polish. Aww. Oh. Okay, so I got the species, but what kind? I don't know my chicken breeds. The black and white is a guinea. Yeah. Oh, a guinea, guinea okay. Fowl. Oh, okay. this one. These. Oh, this one guinea fowl, okay. Uh, two white with black penciling. It's the middle ones, yep. Yeah. Are silver sea bright. Oh, yeah, I would never have guessed that. And the pure black is a black Dutch. Okay, yeah, I don't know chicken breeds except for silky and <laughs> Polish. Silky and Polish, yeah. exactly. So I figured there was a chance it might be one of those. Alright, well, I got guinea. So this is from Abby. Thank you. Abby from Louisiana. She sent you oh my huge goodness. bags of M&Ms. These are the says sharing 
But you don't share these. No, Emily you eat them. Share. And some Pocky. Pocky! Oh, I love Pocky! Thank you, Emmy! And then she said, Ooh. me. These are actually all mine, too. No, they're not. That's they can't all be for you. She said, the M&M's are for Emily's and Pocky. Emily. The M&M's and Pocky are for Emily, so there's actually one for Pocky in here. Okay. You know, you're gonna okay. I guess it's the, fair. The rest are for Ed. Oh my god. And I see who's more loved. Yeah, they love me. And the East. Amazing. So we have to pick. Oh, we have to do Bean Boozled? Yes, we do. Uh, we're playing? Okay, let's play. Uh, can you explain it to anybody who doesn't understand how Bean Boozled works? Basically, there's Thank you, Abby. two beans that look the same. One is a good flavor and one is a bad flavor. And we okay. just, we'll just pick. Okay, we're not going to spin the thing? Nah. Okay, I'm going to pick a blue... Oh, wait. What are the two... Well, you're not going to look. No? Well, I'm thinking, what if I like said the two options it could be? Okay. Well, you pick yours and I'll tell. Okay. I'm going to do Don't this do one. blue, because blue is like toothpaste. So that's the... Mostly white with some little speckles. So that's either dirty dishwater or birthday cake. Oh. It could be good. Just pick one up for me. Okay. You should have... You had to go with that one, didn't you? No, you'd like it if it was spicy. You can have this one. That is either, I'm guessing, canned dog food or chocolate pudding. Oh, okay. Come on, birthday cake. Birthday day! I got lucky! It's not dishwater! No. No. It was dog food. <laughs> that's awesome. Mmm, oh. that's really tasty. No, oh, it's good, Shayna. Yeah, it's tasty. No. Okay. I like that too. Sweet. Ugh. <laughs> that bad, huh? It's not good dog food either. It's like. <laughs> it's like <burrito>. elbow. <laughs> really garbage stuff. You go. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Can you go potty? Not on that side. Don't go potty on that side. Yeah, somebody said they almost threw up trying to uh, uh, eat dog food. Uh -huh. Here you go. Do we have allergies? Ed doesn't agree with eggplant. Yeah, don't send me eggplant. I won't eat eggplant. <laughs> That's the only thing, though, between the two of us is eggplant for Ed. Yeah. Otherwise, everything is good to go. Wow. This is really wrapped up well. Okay. There's, like, facts on here. The eastern coral snake grows up to three feet in length. True. The eastern coral snake bite causes no pain and swelling. I'm what? pretty... <laughs> the coral snake... Uh, coral snakes do a lot of pain and swelling. Is this like two truths and a lie? I don't, I don't know. Rosie Boa. The Rosie Boa is one of the slowest moving snakes in the world. I believe that. I mean, it depends on how warm it is outside. The snake does not strike as a defense. I think they do. I think some of these facts are not facts. It can be sighted on large mountains. I think so? I don't know. You just gave me s'more reason to be grateful. <laughs> I like puns. What was the pun this morning that I told you? The one that didn't make, you can't say it, you have to read it. The oh. two one. Yeah. Did you know 15 plus 15 is 30, but 16, or and 16 plus 16 is 32. But if you, you, you can't say that one, you have to spell it. This is what I have to wake up 30 to, by the way. Every morning. is how it's spelled, so that's why that joke didn't work. Okay. Dear Ed and Emily, I have a tiger salamander named Jamie that is seven years old. Wow. I did a bunch of research when I got him, but there was little information that was available. I could find, uh, and what I could find was often conflicting snake discovery. Your channel. Oh, since discovering your channel, Jamie now eats much diversified diet and loves crickets, dubias, and earthworms. He also eats from tongs now. I am so appreciative of all your educate of all you do to educate. Kids don't don't copy Emily here. It's, Listen to what she has to say about snakes. It's covered in tape. I had to. Question. With their okay. with their skin, is it okay to use the penny trick for uh, an amphibian? Amphibians. I don't know if I would do it for an amphibian. I would do it for an amphibian. Yeah, just because they're so Just sensitive. change out their water more. Yeah. Excuse me. Is it also okay to use the same bioactive method? Yes, that it is. Oh yeah, definitely. And I think ah. they sent a bunch of chocolate discs. I don't know who this was. There's no name? Hmm, yeah. Unless their name is also Emily. Huh, 
I'm not sure. It's not on here. All right. This one also doesn't have a name. But they sent really. chocolate discs. Oh, cool. We have 70% dark chocolate Mexicano. Chipotle chili. The flavors oh, are on the chili bottom. Has. Vanilla. Yeah. Guan Another chili. That would be spicy. Cinnamon. That would be spicy. Salted, salted almond, almond and coffee. Ooh. Which one do you want to try? Kind of salted almond. I think I want to try that one. Off. All right. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> How do you always end up on my shoulder? You always figure it out. Yeah, yeah, you're not supposed to. Little girl. Okay, we're trying to. Did we with. see Emily Wilson's last super chat? No. Uh, I'll watch the chat here for a second. Emily, just re say what you said. Okay. Oh, that Emily. Okay. Almond, salted almond. Oh, it's like airy chocolate. Oh, it's very strange. Yeah, that is really weird. Not bad. Good flavor once it develops, but it's a weird texture. It's like crumbly. Mm -hmm. And not like old chocolate crumbly. It's just, it's like those arrow chocolate bars. That's really good. Once you know what to expect. Hmm. I like that. Thank you. Okay. I, I'm oh, watching. I don't taste see. Tastes weird. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it as much anymore. <laughs> oh, that, that turn. Oh, weird. It was like, uh, really good. Uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Interesting though. Very interesting. What's the name of the person I was looking for again? Well, this is uh, Emily. Yes, I thought. Okay, we have a cute plush that was sent from. Ooh, and I just saw this too. A fidget cube. I love fidget cubes. Yeah. Drax is still in there. He's just sleeping. Oh yeah, Drax is asleep right now. I fed him right before this actually. Oh. He's, he's starting to get used to me, and I think like me. So took long enough, but I think. How is Cheyenne's train going? Should we try it? Uh, Do we have a treat for her? We can try to get her to fly. I don't know if she would. We need a flat surface. Okay, I'm gonna read this really quick. We can try that later. Okay, we'll try it later. We'll try to get Cheyenne to fly for you. We have to make it through all the packages in our office, though. Oh, that's true. Uh, hi, I'm Leonid. I am a huge fan. I hope one day you'll see this. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Abigail, and I'm 12 years old. I really hope you like the box. Oh, you're one of my favorite YouTubers. Oh, here's a question. Are you a fan of Lord of the Rings? Yes, yeah. we do like Lord of the Never Rings. Never read the book. Potatoes. But the movies are good. Yes, that's true. Same thing. And it's like the so one much. fantasy series that people are like, yeah, the books or the movies actually good. Yeah. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of those that are good. Okay, you can just stay. Ugh. Don't choke me. Okay. Is the, did you open this one? From no. Sean. Okay. okay just said this is from Sean in Missouri or Massachusetts. MS. Shoot, I'm having a brain fart right now. Is that Mississippi? Is it Mississippi? That might be Mississippi. I don't know. It's late, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's uh, almost 11, and we've been here since 11. almost 11. Yeah, yep, that's right. Uh, dear Emily and Ed, my name is Laura. Lara? Lara? I live in Mississippi. Ah, we got it. Sweet. And love you on your channel. I have two hognose snakes. Uh, the male is a 100% pet toffee belly, a superconda, and the female is a pet um, anaconda. I don't know if anaconda comes in a pet. <laughs> Anaconda's not a pet, sorry there. I think that means that she <laughs> is anaconda. If she looks normal, then she's not a pet anaconda. I'm gonna play <laughs> it and sell it, that to you as that. All right, uh, let's see. My female's name is Spike, and the male is Peanut. Oh, here we go. Um, I know everything about snakes from watching your channel. Well, thank you. Oh, Clara, Clara, sorry. Cool. Oh, and you have two jumping spiders. Awesome. Clara sends. Oh, there's some goodies for baby bins. Only a couple dollars for them, too. Thank you, Clara. You didn't have to send cash. Oh, and here's one of your hog oh, 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 wait. Okay, we can figure out what you have. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, so she has. Uh, Clara says she has a super conda, so no spots. 100% toffee belly. Maybe pet toffee belly. And the female is a pet anaconda, it says. Mmm, that's a normal shed. I'm so sorry, you have a normal con or normal hog nose if this is your oh, female yeah, that's shit. totally a normal. That's a normal, <laughs> yeah. But and the super condo will throw all condos. That's true, you'll so. get all condos anyway, so you'll still get some cool snakes out of there. That's a nice shed too, actually. What'd you just do? You just made a break a chip off your beak? Well, I don't understand what happened there. Okay, well, mm. there's also a cute crocheted snake in here. This is adorable, Clara. I love the little flushing lines, thank you. So Alessandra from Italy sent us a bunch of, 
Italian. 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 It's so late. It has candies. <laughs> okay. So we got that. Oh, like hazelnut oh, dipped in chocolate? Yeah. Wait, okay, so they did say try this we right have now. to strongly recommend you include the pocket coffee. So we have to okay. find the pocket. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, it's right pocket here. Pocket coffee. Well, I'm going to try this. Pocket one. coffee. Yeah, mm -hmm. they said try as many as you want because they sent us a lot. Yeah. Oh, my like, gosh. They really did. Oh, this one has, like, wine on it. Oh, there you go. Huh. All right. Oh. Just, they kind of gave us, like, this one? so this is Ooh. Chocolito de Marico. Madica. Madica. Okay. Fifty-five percent chocolate, which contains a wonderful red wine typical of Sicily, the island I come from. This is uh, hazelnut chocolate. That's really good. That I thought there'd be like full hazelnut in there, but this is much better. This is like hazelnut flavored chocolate. That's delicious. Should we try that? So we're trying the pocket coffee? Yeah, I'm gonna try this wine coffee too. Okay, I'll get the pocket coffee on. Oh no, it turned white. Oh no, when was this sent? It's still good. Yeah. Pocket coffee. Oh. oh, it is chocolate. Okay. Just a little little box. Okay. Where is this from? Pocket oh, coffee. Italy. Italy. Okay. Sicily. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, they're little. They're teeny little. Okay. Liquid center. They sent Ooh. some lemon and raspberry chocolates. Oh, nice. Raspberry. Sweet. We've got our pocket coffee here. I, I'm guessing it's just oh. a little pocket of coffee surrounded in chocolate. Maybe. But it's liquid, so now I'm kind of nervous. Yep, that's liquid. <laughs> Ooh. It's like coffee. -y. Ooh. Yeah, that's very coffee. -y. That's like a mocha in a chocolate. You wouldn't like it. Here, you should, that's delicious. You should try this mysterious Whoa. red hard shell. You try that one. It says we get animal a behaviors. Of... Yeah, whatever. Hand. Is that like a target trading stick? Oh no, mm. it was edible. Here you go. Animal, is it like, like a peanut M&M? It's like an M&M, &M, uh, an almond M&M. Oh. Ah. Oh, here. Ooh. You go through the rest of I'll go grab my grab packages. Oh. Oh. That so might be spicy. It's spicy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It's so spicy. It's not that bad. Oh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> oh no. That was amazing. There was nothing on here that said anything about being spicy. What kind of, give me those waffle things. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was so spicy. Oh. Sorry guys. Oh, that was funny. Oh, it hit me. Hit us at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I like started peeking through and I was like, uh oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. My, the back of my throat is like burning right now. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. <gasps> okay. I have nothing to like kill spice in my mouth. I was hoping chocolate would. And I'm stealing these back, by the way. Okay, these are staying over here. Don't tell them this time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ruin the surprise. Okay, I think the spice has finally gone down. It's still there. Okay, so we're going to. Oh, we have nothing left. All right, cool. Is there anything else that I can kill? Does coconut kill spiciness in your mouth? I don't think it does. Do seeds? Maybe I'll try seeds. Oh, I still have part of an Oreo. I brought okay. you some things. Oh, cool. Beer. Yeah. That's good. Right. We don't contone alcohol drinking, by the way. Drink responsibly. Yeah. But it's like 11 o'clock p.m. here. So I think most kids are in bed. I don't know. If you're watching, how old are you? I'm going to feel bad. Oh, sorry. Mango mix. Definitely one of my favorite drinks. I'm sorry. I know it's alcohol, but I need something to wash the spiciness out of my mouth. Okay. Hopefully there's no one under. Ah, oh, shoot. City Simmer is 20. Latricia is 18. There's 13 year olds in here? Okay, at least Mystique is 27. And Flower, okay. So we have a few over 21. Well, there's more than I thought there would be that are very young. So, um, don't judge me. I'm an adult. I'm actually old now. I'm like 30. I'm actually 31, but I don't want to admit it yet. But I'm old enough to drink a beer at the end of a very long, crazy busy weekend. 
Uh, this weekend actually was a blast. We had, I think, 260 people through the doors on Saturday, and this whole week has been nuts. I think this is our second really busy week in the zoo, where instead of like you know, 75 people in the zoo, it's more like 200 a day. And I think it's because summer break hit, and it's been so much fun. There's just been so many people in here. We have interns now too, guys. Like, this is an actual thing. Like, bring them through. You just dropped a lot of stuff. Yeah, there's also a tortoise right here, so watch it. Oh no, who's this? Oh, Tom. Tom's under there. Oh, I didn't even see him go into the mail. Okay. Well, we have uh, finished opening everything that was in that we brought from the living room. Yep. And so now, can you go in the chair, please, please? Yep. Okay. Here. Okay, I'll you. just hold her back, and then she can't get Ugh, out. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> like that. She's stuck. There's your pile. Okay. Now we're gonna open stuff that's been in our office for a little while because it was shipped right to us. <coughs> oh my gosh! I still, I still feel spicy in my mouth. You are such a wuss. That was really spicy. No, it wasn't. It was. I don't even remember what it was, but that was really spicy. Oh. Okay. So. Next we have from Patricia in the UK. Patricia? <sighs> Patricia? I have to open it with Patricia. Oh, I shouldn't open this with Patricia. Okay. We have, ooh, they're like sunflower seeds and and herbs and spices? I don't know, is there a note? I hope there's a note. Ooh, it smells, it smells good. What is this? There's, there's, there's no note. Oh no. Okay, I don't know what these are for. Oh, never mind, there's a sticker. Hamsters we love. Oh, is this your business, Patricia? So these are products, I assume, for mice and rats, our, our mice and rats, to provide them enrichment, which sounds amazing. I would love to offer them some different types of enrichment. Today I gave them a bunch of crinkle paper, which they, they always love, they always love that. Yesterday they got a bunch of tubes. They got a bunch of tubes yesterday, yep. Yeah. Can somebody explain, since there's no note, unfortunately, I'm going to bring these over here. Can somebody explain what all of these are? That's a really cute logo, by the way. That's who this is from, I think, maybe. And there's, okay, Sunflower. I don't know what these are. And just to verify, can somebody confirm if they're, like, rodent safe? I assume they are, since there's a hamster sticker on there. But if someone would have confirming who knows rodents and, like, identifying dried things better than I do. I would love to give these to our rodents if they're okay. So I'll kind of uh, keep an eye on that. All right, thank you. Thank you, Patricia. If these are in fact for our rodents, which if they're safe for them, I will definitely give them to them. Oh, I've been following you since I was eight. I thought there was an eight year old watching this as we have drinks. That's okay. What? Stay discovery after dark. Yeah, and we're all, we're extra tired. So it's just fun, absolutely. Um, Are there people basil. commenting about it? Basil. No, I just asked how, if there was like, any people, hopefully more Under. than over over 21, mostly. There's a lot of 13 year olds watching. But it's okay. Yeah. You know, we're adults. Wait till you're 21. Wait till you're And then make your own choices. Exactly. Yes. All right. Responsible, sir. Yep. Now these were a couple of gifts given to us in person at our zoo by a couple of fans. And I think this one might open in front of them, but this one I was told, if I remember correctly, to wait until the next fan mail opening. So here we are. It's a cute little pink bag. We've got, oh, a letter, perfect. Oh, there's a picture of our fan. Oh, that's super cute. She's wearing a blonde wig. I can't show you because it's YouTube or the internet, but really cute picture of you. Thank you. And we have a purple plastic thing for a plush craft. That have to do with this? Oh, cool! Oh, there's a note on the back. Here we go. Uh, oh, this is a crochet, crochet dog, crochet dog. I think uh, some sort of crochet dog from the Kate's family. Aw, thank you. That's really cute. Did you did you make this? That's adorable. This is gonna go right up front, right there. Okay, cool. Well, there you go. We waited until fan mail opening. It was well worth the wait. Thank you, Kate's family. I'm gonna put the bag down there. Cause I'm gonna, I'm a loser and I reuse all the bags that you guys send me. I definitely reuse them for actual gifts that I send out too. So I don't wanna like waste them. So they do get reused. 
Oh, sorry, I should have taken out the uh, the the letter first. I just saw that there were mangoes in here. Trina, do you want a mango? Yeah, kind of when you're sitting like that, you won't eat it. Okay, I'm gonna save these for now. I might eat dried mangoes. We have a folder here, and it's full of some art. Ooh, and a question mark box. What could be in the box? It is. Oh. <laughs> Ed and Emily with a heart around it. Ed and Emily sitting in the tree. Is that a beer can? Or a, a beer mug next to our names? I'm gonna go with this a coffee mug. We'll go with the coffee mug. All right. Cute. Oh, and there's the adorable bearded dragon art. We do still hang a lot of art behind our checkout counter for everybody to see. So that might be where some of this ends up going. We've got Noodle there and we've got Ooh, like a, a Cheyenne feather there. Cute. And chocolate bar with a decayed brown snake. And Ed's favorite, green tree python. Cute. Thank you. This is a really cute artwork. I'll have to hang this up behind, behind the counter. Thank you for the mango. Oh my gosh, and there's more treats too. There's huge bars of chocolate. Thank you so much for these. These are gonna actually take a while to eat because those are ginormous. And we have, oh, pictures of, I think, some clay figurines that you made. Nice, too. Those are really cute. All right, I'm going to set these down here. And then, can I open we one of these? still have one here. Here's a, here's a handful. Oh, okay. I'll open this. Oh, shoot, I forgot to look for the answers on the, the dried things. Can I scroll up? Did anybody say if it was safe or safe for them? The... Oh, Anna Rhodes, I just looked it up. Hamsters We Love is an Etsy shop. Yes, okay to feed to the mice and rats. Thank you, Anna. I will give them a bunch of treats right after this then, actually. Here is a letter with our next one from Kelsey in uh, Maryland. Let's see. Aw. Emily and Ed, thank you so much for being you know, wonderful people who clearly love your animals and do what you do for all the right reasons. I'm a mom to five lizards, one golden gecko. Uh, who I've had for almost 19 years, holy cow. Two Mediterranean geckos, uh, a bearded dragon, an eastern blue tongue skink, or, and a blue tongue skink. Wow. I love seeing all the diverse herps and inverts you care for in Cheyenne. Now, I'm over in Maryland, but hope to make it over to your zoo sometime. P.S. I think the sticker came from the Etsy shop, Urban Dragon Coat. There's a sticker right here? Aww. Okay, so Kelsey, Kelsey said, oh, oh, is this a, oh, it's a Pokemon sweater or sweatshirt for Shania. Are you ready for this? It's, I guess, Pikachu specifically. Oh my gosh. That's actually a bird sweatshirt. Okay. I won't leave this on you for very long because you already have a sweater on, but I have to see how this fits. Oh my gosh, that's super cute. Okay, hold on. Dragons. 
We can definitely use these ASAP. Thing. This is a good like personal salad size for oh. a bunch of smaller dragons. Oh! This isn't fan mail. That's not fan mail. That's something we ordered. Yeah, this is for the store. That's for Patreon backers. Well, we already sent it out as Patreon backers. Yeah. So, yeah. If anybody wants to come to the store, oh, well, there we go, <laughs> and want to buy Snake Discovery Post-its. This was not on purpose, it I was swear. Not. Um, yeah, we can just put that aside. Oh, okay. oh more dishes! Oh, there's no name, but whoever sent this, I don't think there's an Amazon in there either. Whoever sent these dishes, thank you. These could not have come at a more those, perfect time. Those are good-looking dishes. Yeah, these are, it's the perfect size for a single, like a small bearded dragon salad. Yeah, like, or well, water. Or, or for water, yeah, that's true. We use for that too. We will absolutely use these. Thank you, whoever sent these. We can use these for adoption right away. I'm gonna put this down here. Maybe I'll put some of this down here as well. Here we go. Get the tissue paper down here. Oh, look at this. This is hamster treats. The dried oh, stuff. Yeah. Nice. We're gonna give this to our mice and rats uh, after this. There's a tube and a tube. Here. Tube and a tube? Tube and a tube. Ooh, is that like posters? Oh, it's a poster. Oh, wait, this might not be either. I recognize that. Were we given this? Okay. I don't I remember. Think, maybe I've just seen this before. I mean, it's, it's really just... cool. Yeah, here, let me get this close. Your poster, don't forget. Oh, it's Australian. Reptiles of Australia. Oh, cool. Oh, Here's I think a... it is. I think Ava sent us this. Oh, oh nice. Here's a really sweet yep. poster. Ava and Rachel. Ava and Rachel. Ooh, look at that. Thank you, Apparently guys. Apparently they are from Perth. Oh, really? Yeah. So if we, when we go to Australia, we'll have to make a stop in Perth. That is definitely somewhere we want to go, is Australia. And then just, you know, Australia is only like the size of like Wisconsin. We could make the entire trip in like one time, right? We probably could, yeah. It's not that big. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, and Australia then there's is tiny, right? pictures. I remember seeing this. Did we show this in a fan mail before? I don't know. Or maybe someone gave this to me in person in the zoo. It's that, from that would be BT though. BT. Maybe we already. I don't know. But in case we didn't show it, or if you want to see it again, check out this awesome digital art of Cheyenne. That looks awesome. I think I have to hang this in the office. That is. That would be cool. Hang that in the office. Yeah, I think this is office worthy. A lot of the stuff here today actually yeah. is office worthy. There's a lot of cool things you guys send us. Here's another poster though. Okay, we're gonna set that there. Put that here. Okay. And where'd the other book? Uh, it's on that side of the table. I threw it on the floor. I didn't want it to get like crushed by anything on the table <laughs> here. If we like put something on top of it. Okay, so we're gonna put this here. Okay. Oh, okay. Cheyenne's pictures going aside. Thank you. We'll have to find some good spot spots for those for those posters. Okay. Next. Oh, really quick. Somebody sent us. Actually, Ed and I were out of town when a very generous man. <laughs> Dropped off a bag full of Bucky's paraphernalia, including a plush throw blanket, which I have not opened up because I wanted to thank you first, since I wasn't there the day you dropped us off. Thank you for all of the Bucky's goodies. We did consume all of these snacks because we didn't want them to like go bad. But this, I wanted to thank you for. This is what the whole thing looks like before yeah, I brought it home. home yeah, now we can bring this home and enjoy it. And I love Bucky's. So I already opened this package up. We both kind of did. Oh, is that? But, yeah, you should share what that is. So when we made the video about the Gila monster, we we shouted out Cigarro National Park, um, basically saying that you could adopt a uh, Gila monster from them, and they sent us basically a certificate <laughs> for that we are now. Oh, there it is. Uh, have adopted this Gila monster. Yeah. So I guess. I guess we adopted a Gila yeah, monster. Yeah, so we adopted a Gila monster. Which is kind of cool. I think we, we gave them a lot of publicity, and there might have been some people who... We didn't, like, ask... We didn't no. want them to send us this, but they were really nice and just, just sent it to us. Yeah. So they must have somehow gotten word of the shout-out on the video, and they saw the video. On behalf of the Board of Directors, Friends of Cigarro National Park, I wanted to express our appreciation of your donation and support of our efforts to protect and preserve the national and cultural resource of Cigarro National Park. So I, we didn't send them anything, we, other than you know telling you guys to go check them yeah. out. So you guys must have supported them, and they saw that. So thank you for those who adopted a Gila monster at Saguaro National Park. Yeah, it's a really cool program they have to yeah, so protect them. We'll have to hang that up too. Yeah. Oh, that would be cool to hang up. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have so many things hung up in our office. Yeah, we are. Too. So this was 
Also, I it believe... It was in a box. I figured out in a box. It was, oh, it was in a box. Okay, okay. So this was mailed to us? Uh, yeah. Okay. Mysterious thing in a pillowcase. Usually it's a snake in a pillowcase, but it's not a snake. Oh! I know what it is! It's coffee! Guys, you're so nice to send so much coffee! You're gonna be wired for like eight days. I can't wait till tomorrow. I'm gonna try so many different types of coffee tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so there's a card in here. Aww! Oh, it's a card that says just heal. I hope your, I hope your nose, or hi Emily, I hope your nose surgery went well. Ed and Cheyenne have their feathers full, so I sent a friend to help you recover. He doesn't eat much, sincerely Conrad. I think the friend is, the friend must be, oh, must be still in here? Ah ha ha, here's the friend. A lizard, an iguana. So yes, I did have nose surgery not too long ago. And might have to go back in for nose surgery. Might have to go back in again, because I don't know if it actually works. But there'll be a, a video, of course. Yeah. We related it to reptiles. Uh, so you'll learn more about that later. But, thank you. Oh, cool. This coffee is called Rattlesnake Brew. Nice. Nice. Thank you so much, Conrad, right? Yeah, thank you, Conrad, for the coffee gift and for the friend. Oh, this is these. <coughs> oh, okay. Thank you. We're good. Nah. That's really sweet to give to you. Thank you. I'm gonna put it back in this bag actually. So I can keep oh, it I got a bunch of Christmas all together. Presents. Oh no. Yep. Did somebody send us fudge? Were we supposed to get fudge from someone? Maybe. This is a Christmas present. I'm thinking it's full of fudge and we might have missed out. Oh no. Oh no, I feel so bad if we missed out on yeah, fudge. Yeah, I would too. No. But it's from Christmas. As you can see, the Christmas wrapping paper. I'm sorry. I guess if you because I don't oh this wasn't a package, never mind. I was going to say, if you give us something in the zoo and it's edible, tell us just to eat it, because we're not going to get it on camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let us know if you want us to open it before a fan mail video, because then maybe it'll be fresh. I don't know. I don't know how to... I don't yep. this crazy. Is, uh, is it all fudge? Oh, it's cookies. Christmas cookies. Oh, dang it. What? This is from the people. Oh, it smells really good. This is from the people who... We met in, uh, who came to the store before it was open, and we hung out with them for a little bit. Oh, Pedro? Yeah. And Cheyenne? Cheyenne? I don't remember. No. I remember Pedro. I thought it was Cheyenne. They I'm told sorry. us they were going to put it put us on their Christmas cookie. Aww. All we right. We on those. Sorry. Well, Can okay. You, would you mind trying again this year, Pedro? And at this next year, or this Christmas season... When we get them, we get a box like this, we'll open it right away, and we'll put it around. Say, it's covered. me. These are your Christmas yeah. cookies for 2022. <laughs> we might not open them on camera, but we will be able to enjoy them before they go bad. Before six months Before later. six months. Aw, now I feel bad. Those look yeah, really good. Those did look really good. Aw. Okay. I'm so sorry that we didn't open those for so long. That's the problem with, like, waiting so long to do fan mails, but we, like, don't have time to do them earlier. Okay. This one is also covered in tape. Like, I don't know if I can even use my box cutter to open this. So eh. I have this little teeny knife on my piece Maybe, maybe I just... Carrie gave me. I think I got this. I'll just like wedge Jeez. this in. Why are you not sharper, Patricia? Okay. I have to hold it really close. Look at that shiny border. All right, Rachel sent us a package. Wants to know what was your favorite Rings of Fire characters? Glory. 
Glory, okay. Glory of the Rain Wings, <laughs> probably my favorite. Um, hmm. Charles isn't here. Uh, what is your, maybe they mean me? No, they've got that right. Okay. okay. Is uh, questions? What is your favorite arachnid egg? Uh, I like the green bottle blue. Oh yeah, they're great displays. Emily, sure. what do you think about Sky? Also, how do you think he would react if he saw Plains Hognose? The Sky Wings of Fire character? Yeah, Sky is a... Uh, um... Rain Wing? No, shit. Sky Wing? Fire Sky Wing? wing? I, think it's, I think it's a Sky Wing. It's been a couple of years since I read Wings of Fire, and I still haven't read before You've team. been reading Aragon now. Yeah, different dragons. So now <laughs> my, it's all skewed. Let's see, I am in Singapore, so paying a physical visit to your zoo is a bucket list for the future. Uh, here in Singapore, these there's not much reptile keeping apart from red haired sliders and maybe the uh, odd frog. Oh, oh my gosh, I might have to like read this later. This is, I love this handwriting, this is gorgeous. I'm going to save this so I can read the whole thing later. And keep it with the card too. Hopefully, let's see. What else is in here? I like the wax seal too. Okay, so Chris D also sent ooh some milk chocolate little bars that I've never seen before. Okay, you stay here and safe. Okay. Coffee chocolate candy. Ooh. And there's oh what is this? What is that? I oh, it's an ice pod. Oh is my gosh! Ice pod? It's an ice pod. Oh. Right, I'm gonna do this one. Okay, let's open these both up. Open. Open. I must see the isopod. There's like little machines where they like tumble down. Oh, I got a turtle. Oh, cool. I got the, the snapping turtle that sits in the shell. Oh, That's so cute. Yeah, and then out. we've got a rubber ducky. How does this open? Yeah, yeah. You want to figure it out? Yeah, here. I'll okay. trade you. You can have the turtle. Okay. Yeah, I'm more of a turtle person. You're more yeah. of an ice pod person anyway. Okay. You gotta just ah, pedal the right way and then and he pops like, open. Fits in the ball and it's Aww, like kinetic. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, that's such a cute little isopod. Oh, the Tinley Show sells those. Yep. There's usually like a vending machine. Uh, but you can't pick. No, that's the best one. That is the best one. Oh, thank that's you, amazing. Christy. Thank you, Christy. Oh. Okay, we're yeah. gonna try yeah, it's gonna coffee sit. candy. Oh, you can't see my laptop anymore. It's gonna sit over on the iPad. So I think you can see the iPad. Oh, is this another hard candy? Oh, it is another hard candy. Okay. Uh, oh wait, maybe it is. No, it's a hard candy. I'm gonna try this afterwards because this is one that you have to suck on for a while. But that looks really good. So this is gonna be next to those other candies. I lost them. That's okay. You can go here. I'm gonna try those afterwards. They look amazing. So Thank Rachel, you so much, Christy. Rachel sent us some caves. Some hand painted oh, caves. Oh, cute! Those are cute caves. These are like baby hides. Yeah. For hides and then baby bins. the Western Reptiles and Amphibian Field Guide. Oh, nice. Yeah. We know the toads. We can like study up when we're in different, yeah. when we're uh, out, out of the state. Yeah. Cool. We can bring the field guide with cool. us. Thank you, Rachel. Out of that. Thank you, Rachel. I love the baby hides. We're in the lining. Okay. On top of all the stuff. Yep. That's accumulating. This. Yes. As it does. Ah, the chaos. It's great. Chaos of life. It is a box that's covered in Amazon stickers. This one I already opened. I know it's in this one. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I was supposed to let you open this one. Oh! But it's a picture, oh. it's a sweet little mug with Cheyenne's that's name so on it. Oh, cool. you should show that one up close. Yeah. That's, where's that from? That's gorgeous. It didn't have a name with it. No name? Yeah, I remember Aww. looking at opening the box, it had no name. Oh, well, whoever sent that, that's going to be like, I think one of my main go-to mugs now. That's beautiful. Oh, I love that. I just Thank saw you very a much. comment, what size socks does Ed need? And there's sizes of socks. I, I thought they were just men's and women's. I thought so too. That's what I thought. Let's see, this yeah. one will fit. I do prefer if somebody's going to send me things, I like ankle socks. But, <laughs> but I will wear, we will I will wear, wear any socks. Oh, yeah. Is there size on these? Are sizes? Are men's like... four pack. Yeah, so, so it's just men's, men's. and women's. He's I am women's. A... <laughs> I am a size Women. 11, I think. Two? Yeah. Okay. Okay, go with it. Oh my gosh, it's a coffee maker. 
But, oh, that's the one that Haley was talking about. Yeah, Haley has been asking us to open fan mail that has a coffee maker for okay. the longest time. I don't know what's going to have a coffee so, maker. <laughs> so we opened a coffee machine that we got from the, the, the St. Louis, Louis show. Louis show. Yeah. Haley has not had one cup of coffee. And yet they were the ones begging us. And they were the ones to... begging for getting coffee. Well, hey, if this is, in fact, a coffee maker... Yeah, that's just Haley for you, though. <laughs> it is actually a coffee maker. Oh, my God. You're way too nice, guys. Well, this actually could go to our new... Oh, yeah, that could go to the... Yeah. The... The new place. The new place. That we haven't announced yet. What snake from our personal collection would, we, would you like to just chit, to sit and chill with? Snake from the personal collection to sit and chill with? Um, that's a good question. Who's a good Roger, our false water cobra? He's really good at, once he gets comfortable, he just sits and chills with you. So, yeah, I would say our false water cobra. And your baby. Baby Spice, yeah. the, the she, retake. She'd chill with me pretty good. It, yeah, she would. <laughs> All 120 pounds. All 120 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, should be a good one. Oh my gosh, this is a copy maker. Oh, it's teal. It's a cute color, guys. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna open it in the most awkward way possible. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Yes, copy maker. We can bring this to. That's like a personal copy maker. It is. That's really cute. We can bring this to the place. place. Yeah, so many um, people are wondering what... Mm -hmm. Big announcement coming. Yeah. It's going to be in a video here soon. Yeah, coming soon-ish. Big announcement. This will go there. Okay, this will be used a lot. Thank you, whoever sent this. I didn't see a card or anything, but hopefully you're watching this. And thank you so much. I can bring this coffee there, too. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, we'll have a setup at the, at the new place. Okay. At the new place. Yes. I can go there. Thank you. I'm going to keep the instructions with it. But I know I'm not going to be able to fit it back in the box. So I'm not even going to try, honestly. Okay. Okay, uh, from so. From Samantha. Maureen, Samantha, and maybe someone else. Because I think it's a daughter's. Okay. Uh, all from, from Syracuse, New York, sent this package. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Wow. You know how you were saying the other one? This might be shareable size. <laughs> I didn't know they made things this big. Oh, my God. oh more pens. So these many more like really pens. Those are pens nice too, pens. Yeah. yeah, we can use those throughout the building. Yeah, I won't wow. open them because I opened 10 pens already today. Okay. I'll eat this one and I'll share this one. Heck, we got that. chocolate. Oh, more chocolate. Caramel sea salt one. and dark chocolate. I think that's the same. Thank you. Uh, I guess what mine wow, is Wow, that what, looks great. What's yours is yours and what Thank mine you. is yours, right? Yep, exactly. Yeah. I got Haribo. Oh, the you best, can see The best, you uh, those. best cheap gummies, which is awesome. There's so many and then these pits. It's so much chocolate. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I, like I said, didn't even know they made to paint this thing. It's bigger than our macaw. Aww. That's how big this bag is. Little hog nose. Pippin. That's really cute. Yep. You even did the X on the egg. Oh, okay. This is getting shown up. Up close. We got some Pokemon cards from them. Five over here. Look at this what little. Kind of thing? So homemade their hog nose. Little nose. And an X on the egg. That's so cute. Marine and Samantha. Trying to find another one, but I can't. Okay. Uh, uh, over here. How's the zoo going? Okay. Uh, let's see, they had some questions. Okay. Oh, and Zoe. Okay. So, Marine, the mom, Samantha, the daughter, and Zoe, the daughter. Anyway, how did the first albino become albino? Would you stop eating my waffle cone <laughs> things? They're really good. Hmm? So, how, did, how does an albino snake come to be? Um, it's just like a, originally, it was just a random mutation that occurred in the wild, where basically the snake is born with a genetic defect of sorts that causes the snake to not produce any melanin or black pigmentation whatsoever. So the only pigments left would be like the yellows and the reds. So the eyes become red, the uh, spots, any black pigment which would turn the 
scales like a brown color is missing. So instead it ends up being like a yellow or sometimes even a reddish orange color. So that's kind of how it came to be. What is your favorite merch design? Ooh, I think my favorite merch design is our Evolutions design. Yeah. Yeah, with the spiral of all the snakes. We have the clock of witch right behind the camera. Yep. And then What's your favorite design. Uh, I like the glow in the dark. Logo. Oh, well, in the dark, that's, that's a good one. Uh -huh. And then, are you getting a hyacinth macaw? And if yes, when? Thank you for the box. Yes, thank you. We are godparents of a hyacinth macaw yep. named, named Bella. Bella. And so, hopefully, not anytime soon. Yes. But when her owner is no longer able to care for her anymore, we are a part of their will. So we will be adopting Bella someday. Yeah, exactly. Again, hopefully not in the near future at yeah, all. Hopefully a long time from now. Yes, yes. But we she's got, a very sweet girl. We got more bookmarks. Oh, really? We got more of these. Oh, cool. These are like the same ones. Yeah. These are awesome. They're really nice bookmarks. Fan art. I love them. Thank you. We can read all the books now. This is from Ruby. Ruby. Uh, Thank you, Ruby. She got a rough green snake named Pretzel. Yeah, hopefully it's eaten for you. Rough green snakes can be like a hit or miss. They're bug eaters, which is kind of cool. This is from Ruby. Oh, mm -hmm. she did some fan art. Oh, with cute. some other fan art. I like the snake, Ruby. Uh -huh. Oh, she sent the best gummy bears. No, Albanese. Albanese gummy bears. Her question is, how do you herp so easily? Like, how do you find reptiles and amphibians in the wild so not easily? Easy. It's really not easy. You just, you look and look and look and you only film what you find. So it might look like we find stuff all the time. So you're out for 12 hours and you film three animals. Yeah, there's a lot of searching and very little finding. But it does look different in the videos because yes. you don't want to have a 20 minute video of just walking around in the in a prairie. Yeah, there's no live streaming out perfect. No, no. <laughs> they also send oh, Lindor chocolate. The Lind Carmel, like Carmelo is almost, it's kind of compared to that. And like Cheyenne that one. got some natural Thank treats you, Ruby. from Ruby as well. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, do a lot ladies. Thank you, Ruby. Look, there's a, there's a blend gold on the bag. Look at you. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm not picking you up right now. I'm sorry. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Thank you, Ruby. That's so thoughtful of you. Ruby got you a snack. Yes, she did. You got a snack. Okay. I'm going to grab another box over here. Vinny, best of luck on your driver's test tomorrow. You'll do fine. Oh. Just, just, uh, relax. Don't, uh, so... The story goes, when I went to take my driver's test, if it makes you feel any better, got in the car, started driving, the driver instructor said, okay, take a left here, I took a right. No idea why, went right, and he was like, okay, and I was like, oh, did you say take a left? And he was like, yeah, we'll just do the hard part of the exam first, because that was to the right. Oh, so he let you slide? Yeah, so he was fine with he it. He still passed? He was just like, you're super nervous. Oh, so. nice. Yeah, but I still passed, so it's easier than it is, just My calm only down. advice is borrow the smallest car possible to use for your test. If you have to parallel park. If you have to, well, you, you always have to parallel park. I didn't and have to parallel park. You never parallel park for your nope. driver's test? I had to parallel park and 90 degree back, and those are the, it's like the only time I've ever done it was for the test, because I don't like doing it. <laughs> yeah, you don't, I do all that now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's why, that's why I you married me. Exactly. I navigate, you drive. This is from Heather from Ellis Craft Mill in Indiana. Ooh, who could this be? Ooh, it is something from her business, I think. Let's see what she made. Ooh, California doesn't require parallel parking. Oh, really? Weird. Some states don't make you parallel park. Is there no parallel parking in California? I don't know. Huh, who knows? Okay. Uh, hello, my mom made this just for you. You may see some snake-like texture. That's because of the water paints. I painted it green because it's green for the title of your place. We would come to your place, will come to your place soon. My mom makes these wood crafts all the time and even has a store. Aww. P.S. I painted it and my mom made it from Ellis. Ooh, or Lor uh, from Lauren, sorry, from Lauren. Okay. Lauren, what did you make? Oh, where did my, my scissors? This is definitely not something I want to use the uh, machete for. Gotta be careful with this guy. He made something very special. Aww. Oh, Whoa. wow. Whoa. That's gorgeous. Wow, Lauren, did you painted this? This looks professionally painted. This is awesome and professionally made by your mom. 
So I don't see a card in here, but I want to give her a shout out still. This is from Heather, Ellis, Ellis Craft Mill. So okay. E-L-L-I-S Craft Mill. So apparently Mill. they do parallel park, they just don't test for it. <laughs> Why would they not test you for parallel just, parking if you have to parallel park? You're good. What do you have to do for your test? Just, just drive. Brake Gas and, on the right. Yeah. Break in the middle. Oh man. Sometimes you have a third pedal, but most people so don't know that anymore. Yeah, the question. <laughs> I can drive a stick. Kind no, of. you can't. I could if I had to. This is beautiful though, Lord. Thank you very much for this. Uh, this is going to have to go in our office too. That's gorgeous. Emily yes. loves Stroop waffles. I love Stroop waffles. Yes. They are amazing. I'm going to wrap this up because I want to make sure it stays protected. Okay, you're all right. So. Right Okay, thank you. Finwool 88 on Twitch sends you some coffee beans. Oh, cool. They specifically said Whoa. they're for eating, not brewing. Oh, okay. Because they're oh, chocolate dark covered. Dark chocolate covered coffee beans. And then, for some reason, they unwrapped her. <laughs> and I have, and the, them I have the urge. And I think... To what? Oh. <laughs> not at me! Oh, well... We'll still eat them. Yeah, we'll still eat them. <laughs> Yeah. There's other chocolate bars in there, too. They're so delicious. Oh, yeah, there were chocolate bars in the base. I think it's these ones, yeah. Ooh. Cool. So they sent raspberry nice. and menthol oh. and... Cranberry <laughs> and... Not menthol. Men yeah, menthol. <laughs> Wait, why did you say that? I don't know why I said that. Cranberry <laughs> nuts and strawberry. That's interesting flavor. <laughs> cool, from the Twitch stream? Yeah, I guess. Nice. Thank you. What yeah. Rex is up to right yeah, now? I guess I'll put all the. Uh, I'll look it up later. Back. Rex has been pretty pretty cute lately. We gave her uh, yesterday on the stream a big sucker minnow, like that big, and it was like that big around, probably. And I had saving it in the freezer because I was like, I don't know if she can eat that. That's way too big. I tossed it in there yesterday, and it bounced off the surface, like the land area, and fell into her pool. She found it within like five minutes, and she ate it, which surprised me. But uh, that's probably the biggest fish she has ever had. I regret my decision. <laughs> yeah, now you have to clean all this up. There we go. Yeah. Oh, here's some more. Here's, here's, here's another. Here, you all oh. throw if you catch. I think I got them all. Okay, yeah, I think you're good. Sweet! <laughs> so, yeah. Thank Rex, you. Rex, Jim, the cutie. Oh my the gosh. Twitch channel. This is from Holly in Oregon. Another Oregon package. There is a box full. I think this is probably 10 pounds. And it's full of chocolate. Oh, and books. That's also why it's heavy. So there's Milky Way Midnight. Amazing chocolate bar. Absolutely love this one. That's a good one. What do we have for a note here? We have a book. I love how everyone in the chat is just ratting, up, ratting you out. For the waffles? Yeah. I'm just going to keep eating them. They're like, oh, Emily's the hiding them when you you're not me out, the more I'm going to eat is waffles. <laughs> Yeah. Yep, we're gonna regret it, because he's gonna have none left. Run, get your waffles. Why can't you just do it on the ground? Turn them off. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, damn it! I sang it. No, no! No! <laughs> now you've got a bird. Aww. Uh -huh. She comes with. I don't know if the coffee bed the waffles are <laughs> worth it. <laughs> All right, she's stuck with you now. Or you're stuck with her. Come on, climb up. Dear Emily and Ed, I found a love for snakes when I started watching your videos after being scared of them for so long. Did you get up here? I still, still don't know if I can touch one, but I do love watching your videos of them. My kiddo loves reptiles, so someday it would be cool to come see your facility. We're also Pokemon fans in this house. Um, Vincent's favorite is Pikachu, of course. I wanted to give you some snacks and maybe bribe you to check out a video on my channel because you are in it. I have two channels. A gaming and a non-gaming channel. I figured I would share it since you were in it. Uh, I figured if you want to check it out, look up My Hunger Games Season 2 Herbology. Interesting. Okay, I will have to look that up. And there is, no joke, a box full of treats. The multiple flavors of lens. Oh, nice. Nice. And they will be sitting forever because this is only like six months to a year. That's yeah, like, these are new. That's like fresh chocolate. Oh, thank you, Holly. Ooh. Oh, these are your books? Well, Holly's an uh, author, and these are her uh, books. Thank you for copies of your nice. books here. Well, okay, yeah, definitely going to read those after Aragon series. 
And we have bookmarks for them too. Lily sent us some sweet Pokemon cards, and they look <laughs> they look real too. Wow, I've never seen that kind of holographic pattern before. Yeah. You may have to show that on yeah. the camera. That's, that's a really cool pattern. I'm just glad you have Cheyenne now. Yeah, oh, I regret it. Peach rings. Peach. Oh, these. Oh my god. Awesome. Yeah. Look at these Twizzlers. That's a lot of Twizzlers. Oh. Are those the peel and eat Twizzlers? I don't know. Yeah, this is peel and eat. You, eat. <laughs> you like them that much? Oh, I love these. Really? I didn't know that. I like peach rings. And regular Twizzlers. Oh, here's your dad's favorite. Sour Patch. Sorry you live across the country, Rock. Yep, you can't, you can't have them. these. Oh, they're all ours. Nice. Oh, thank you, Molly. There's so much in here. Well, he also sent us a green treat and some rocks that we really need for baby bins oh. and stuff. Oh, that's cool. That's like a mineral yeah, of some kind. That is cool. And then sent Cheyenne some banana chips and some almonds, which she doesn't care about right now because she's up on my shoulder. <laughs> and she sent us some human snacks. Ooh, we got okay, Kit Kats, yeah. which are amazing. And Emily got two things of chocolate. Oh, Ooh, new chocolates. Cookies and cream, Ooh. and almonds and sea salt. Oh, those both sound good. Especially that cookies and cream. That could go, okay. Would it be too much cookies and cream if you crush this up and put Putting it in cookies, and cream, cookies and cream ice cream? Would uh, that be no, too much? that'd be perfectly fine. Do you think it'd be okay? Yep. Okay, we might have to try that. Awesome. Thank you. you. Do you need what help? are you doing? Uh, uh. you. Come here. Help. There you go. Yay! Hooray! I don't have to deal with it anymore. Thank you, Lily, for all the snacks Thank and you, rocks Lily. and Pokemon cards. This is an unlabeled box, so I wonder if it was dra dropped off at our, at our zoo? Did Rex get her shrunk? Oh, Rex did not get her shrunk today. We gave her an extra rat that was a leftover rat, but I totally forgot to give her her six shrunk that were due. I'm sorry, guys. It's been so nuts with the summer that I been neglecting the Twitch stream, like participating in. You have to do the VOD stuff with the, yeah. the music. Eventually. Uh, yeah, our first priority is like making sure the shop stays running and our employees and, are taken care of. And the animals are okay. And <laughs> oh, then, yeah, them too. Yeah, <laughs> the animals are all fed and taken care of. They all are okay. And then it's the Twitch stream. So I'm really, really sorry, guys, but with this Adoption Island influx. So, I admit I've been neglecting it. Riley from Rockford, Michigan sent you stuff. <gasps> a couple oh, things. Yes. But then she really sent Cheyenne stuff. Oh, she likes Cheyenne! Oh, power treats! Cheyenne's not this good. Why doesn't Ed get anything? <laughs> I'm kidding. I get too many things I as it is. You guys don't have to send me anything. <laughs> oh, power treats are her... This is what we use for her training yeah, treat now. That's what we train. We crush them up because they're yeah, too big. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, this is really nice. Cheyenne loves these. And now we have a bunch of training treats. Oh, she knows what the bag yes. is, too. Uh, Kawaii Cloud Fox. Yes, anime is awesome. I only know of a handful of them. Like, the best one is One Punch Man. Oh, I like amazing. Ranma One Half was always my favorite. Yeah, you that watched, uh, and Inuyasha. Inuyasha. That's a good one, too. Yep. My nose is so itchy. Oh, What's the... My nose itchy. Oh, you're, you're like... Slightly breaking up on your nose. Why is it itchy? I don't know. That's weird. Huh. I don't know. Maybe, maybe something got into... Maybe I am allergic to something. Maybe. <laughs> I just don't know what, because we've tried so many things. Ah, it's fine. Oh. Whoa. Oh, that's a lot of... Uh, For... Rodents. Oh. This is... Is there... A, oh, I wonder if this came with those hamster treats. I bet they did. Oh my goodness. So these might be more hamster... Let's see. Um, hamsters we love on Etsy. There's like, I assume that's what this is? Maybe? Because these all look like they're... Oh, came out of there. These all look like they came from kind of the same spot with the packaging. I mean, the rodents won't care if there's bugs. They'll eat them. Millets. So many different kinds of millets. Oh my gosh. That's wow. amazing. So, is yeah, there just... a card? Okay, I wonder. Hang on. I think I have an idea. Excuse me, Cheyenne. Um. All right, I'll do that one later. So, okay. boop, 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 as Emily's off. Ooh, stage. there's a spider on the floor. And 
There's a spider on the floor, apparently. I have a package from... Oh, oh, there we go. Uh, Alexis uh, loves your channel. She has a brother named Echo. Uh, do they all love reptiles? And they have a German Shepherd. They sent you... Alexis. Dunkin' Donuts chocolate that smells super <laughs> like... Chocolate or coffee? Uh, yeah, coffee. Coffee, okay. Coffee, not chocolate. It's too late. It smells Car like caramel. Oh my gosh, that does smell like caramel. Whoa, thank you, Alexis. They sent some... Eh. Stickers. Some reptile stickers. Oh, dude, we can put those on our racks. Yeah. Nice. And some peanuts for Cheyenne that oh. apparently something decided it was trying to get into. Uh, apparently. Well. That's all right. It's sealed. Yeah, it's still sealed. Nice. It's all what good. Training treats. Here we go. Thank you, Alexis and Thank siblings. Uh -huh. I have a bunch of snacks here from Hamsters We Love on Etsy. Tons of millet, tons of foraging toys. I also found there's a little envelope in here with a hazelnut and like a little mushroom shaped or formed millet toy. But this is super cool. And I cannot wait to spoil all of our rodents with this. Yeah, uh, they get cleaned on Wednesday, yeah, so we can just go through and give them to the rats and yeah. then Thursday the mice. There's even like chew sticks in here, so there's some really nice millie type products at Hamsters We Love. So if you have small animals, these are really nice actually. They're super full of the seeds too, and ooh, dried orange, grapefruit maybe? So I can't wait to try all of these. Not sponsored at all, but this was very generous of them to send, and we will absolutely be using this for our ribbons. I can't wait to do that. Oh. Ah. There, there was a card. Holy card moly. Uh, Hail. Uh, was a Patreon backer back in the day. Ba, 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 ba. Drew my snakes and got stickers printed. So they do a... They have a business called Reptile Renderings on Etsy. Okay. Reptile Renderings. They do isopod stickers, oh. which are amazing. I love that zebra one. Yeah. And then they have... A bunch of snakes. There's a California red sided. There's another garter snake of some kind. That's amazing. So go check out reptile renderings on Etsy. There's some really nice quality stickers on yeah. there. Yeah, thank you, Hale. Aww. Here is a little package that I remember was dropped off when, again, we were not available or what, like, we weren't able to. We had a business meeting or something yeah. and they had to take off. But it's this cute little box. And the note says, hi, Emily and Ed, greetings from, Br greetings from a British, British lass that knew when she booked a flight to Minnesota, she had to visit Snake Discovery. And oh, she didn't come straight here for us, because then I would have felt bad. Like, oh, I would have, yeah. She no, was only she here for was us. She here anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to give you a little something as a thank you for all your content. Not only have you helped me care for my rescue tortoise, Einstein says hi, but your videos have helped cheer me up when I'm feeling down. I make eco-friendly handcrafted jewelry inspired by our wonderful planet. And this particular one was inspired by your channel. It's probably more of a gift for Emily. Sorry, Ed. But I think you'll both appreciate it. Ah. All right. Oh, she has a home, a countryside home in England where she records her jewelry making. See, that's why I use the machete. Yeah, well, the rock works too. Oh, they take it that way. Ah. If you're ever in the mood to watch slash listen to some super chill content, my channel is Eileen Rose. E-L-E-E-N-R-O-S-E. Thank you from Eleanor. So Eleanor sent this. Oh wow, it's actually, it has her logo on the ribbon here. I, I might open this on screen. Go for it. I'm opening this box that was overtaken. Okay. Okay, we're gonna open this from, yeah, Eileen Rose. Let's see what's in here. We've got, I wanna make sure, I wanna make sure something doesn't fall out. Oh, oh that's the back, okay. I believe in you, Emily. I think you Whoa. can do it. Oh, They're snake earrings! Aww. Oh, those are cute. That is really cute! Oh, look at the, like, little color... Oh, sorry. Got distracted. They weren't uh, in focus in there for a while. They're, like... There we go. They're, like, tie-dye. It's perfect for Pride Month. That's really cute. Thank you, Eleanor. Those are really pretty. I'm gonna keep them in the box. So I'm gonna make sure they stay safe so I can bring them home in this nice and say, what are you doing on the chair? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> are you tired? Are you just eating Yes, yes I am. 
Yeah, I think Cheyenne's really tired. <laughs> Thank you, Eleanor. That's really nice of you. So Olivia and I think Lilith or Lita? Not Lydia? sure. Lydia, maybe? Sent us some sweet drawings, some sweet paintings from when they were. Oh, here we go. It's Lila, Lila and Olivia. Aww. Sent us some cool paintings Aww. of when they were watching Snake Discovery. I think they were both upside down. Well, I had them right side up, and then. <laughs> the names were just upside down. There we go, okay. It's, it's uh, art. Yes. You, know, you can look at it from different perspectives. Yes, it's abstract. Thank okay. you for sending us some sweet fan mail. Those are really cute. This is from. Shaz in Pennsylvania. Okay. Uh, joke num Oh, there's jokes on this box. Yes. What kind of book does a snake read? Science fiction. Okay. okay I have a quick question. Pebbles, okay. why are you up at 5:45 a.m.? Ew. They said it's 5:45 in the UK, oh and gosh. we just got up. Ew. Why'd you get, why'd up, you get so up so early? early? Yeah. It's so early. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, joke number four. We're jumping around here. Okay. Uh, who is a snake's favorite author? William Snake's favorite. Yeah, nice job. Okay. Joke number two. Uh, what type of letters did the snake get from his admirers? I don't know. Lots of fang letters. I think instead of fan letters, mm, fang maybe. letters. Yeah. Okay, okay. And that one on that side. There's a number. Oh, no. Where's the number three? We, we did one, two, and four. Oh, good. There it is. Okay. How does a snake sign off on letters? Love and hisses. Oh, my God. <laughs> Those are good. I like it. Thanks, Chess. Chess sent. Oh! Hi, Synth Macaw card. Nice. Hi, I work in a library and sub to your Patreon. Oh, thank you, Chess. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't recognize your, your name. I saw in a fan mail video that you wanted hurt books for your classroom. Challenge accepted. I also threw in some stickers, bookmarks, two pillowcases, so much candy. twin snakes for Ed, and chocolate for Emily. Wow. Oh, it's in like a pillowcase gosh. thing, too. What? Sorry about the extra tape. It was thunderstorming when I packed this, and a wet book is an unhappy book. Makes sense. Yeah. Oh, cool. Like the ice card. Yeah, the Heisen card is awesome. Let's see. Uh, can I unzipper this? Unzipper, unzipper. Okay, there is chocolate in here. There's the twin snake. There's tons of bookmarks. Oh, I can hand these out to kids at library programs or Madison could. Our presenter. Ah, cool. There's a bunch of stickers. Nice. And there's, oh yeah, the twin snakes. Oh, here's a, oh, he found old school red oh, pile of books. nice. Okay, he marked a certain page, too, saying, look at what is on the first page. This is a book about pythons. When was it? Oh, my gosh. And it was listed at the Snake Discovery Library. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty great. When? They finally figured out where we came yeah. from. Well, this was published in 1987. Wow. Oh, with the Snake Discovery <laughs> Library. Okay, where can I find some good info about Burmese pythons on here? Let's see. Okay, census, basic ecology. That's probably pretty accurate. They are non-venomous. Okay, they did get that. They, oh, this was back before they called the hole in the back of the mouth a glottis. It's still a, call it? a windpipe ah, nice. back in the 80s. Cool, unless it was just mislabeled here. Okay, each baby's pip. They have egg teeth. Uh, prey. A python lies in wait to ambush prey. A large python can swallow prey weighing up to 100 pounds. Okay. What did it? Oh! Yeah. Bird tricks? We got, we got a package from bird wow. tricks. Oh! What? Yeah, they sent us some of the summer. Oh my god! Winter and fall. Like, wet, uh, dehydrated. Wait, was it dehydrated? Freeze dried. Freeze dried mix. Whoa! Fur yeah. tricks! And then they also sent us. Jamie, Dave, and Capri I'm sent all this. Not sure what this is. It's unlabeled and there was no card. It's a mysterious liquid. I'm assuming it was something to spray on Cheyenne. Maybe it's like aloe. Oh, I think it's aloe. Oh. Uh, Remember she was talking about aloe? That's right. Put that in the water to dilute it and then spray Cheyenne with it. Oh, it's, it's definitely aloe. Is it's it? Goopy. Okay. Um, 
Did you already put something in no, here? No, was, there was just stuff in there. So I don't know what they had in there, but now it's all over you. It's probably just water. Yeah, sure it was. Oh, she's not in the bathroom. Sorry. Nope, not in the she bathroom. She took a shower this morning, didn't she? Yeah, she did. Yeah, so she's actually good for today. <laughs> so thank you, Birds Trip Bird thank Tricks, you, Bird for Tricks. sending some of the stuff over. Wow. Yeah, we'll have to give the, the, the aloe a, a shot. And yeah, saying, we'll let you know how that works. Yeah. She's loving the pellets that you, she uh, yeah, is she now. Is. She's on Bird Trick pellets nowadays. And uh, she probably does prefer the zoo cream pellets, but, yeah, but that's because they're full of sugar. Everybody would prefer Snickers over salads. Exactly. So. So you're eating a healthy. What are you doing? Who knows? <laughs> this has to go home with us. Yes, we are bringing that home with us tonight. Uh, actually, there's a lot of this that we're bringing home with us. So this is still from Chaz. We have, oh my gosh, this is just a pillowcase full of books. All reptile books. Cool, I have a pile actually going over there. I can add to it now. Oh, I like this one. I don't, and then crossed out. I like snakes. Oh, these are all classic kids books that you typically see at libraries. There's so many! Oh my gosh, yes! Thank you for all of these reptile books. This is so cool. I would like to do, and I might be, we might be able to do this now, I think it would be fun to do like a story time program here. Maybe like once a couple, every couple months or so. I don't know. We have a lot of new programs we're going to start implementing, including a night hike, which will be fun. Um, but one would be a story time where, like, you read a short reptile-themed story to probably kids five and under, and it's just an easygoing, free event you can come to. So we can actually utilize these for that. Maybe I can get going on that program. Just things to get kids into reptiles, you know, because then they grow up loving them. So we have, oh my gosh, speaking of new programs, which these are just, this is full of books. These are a bunch of small books, too, which is perfect. <gasps> Thank you so much, Shez. These will be perfect for our classroom. Um, well, speaking of new programs, our presenter, Madison, actually has developed a, developed a night hike for here in our zoo. And we're going to have our first one on thir Thursday or Friday? Uh, July 8th. Whatever day of the week, July 8th. Oh, shoot. Or is it the 9th? Hang on. Sometime. The either, page will go up on the website yeah, soon. It's either July 8th or oh, it's July 8th, Friday night. So July 8th, we're going to have our very first night hike here. We're basically, since different animals come out at night than those that are awake during the, or out during the day, we're going to close the store at 8 like normal. But then we're going to reopen at 9, and it'll just be for the night hike, which will be a pre-registered event, so we know how many people are in there because we only have room for so many. And we're going to be first talking about, because this will be a full-on program, like an hour-long program you can sign up for. it. And again, July 8th, um, we're going to talk about why reptiles are nocturnal and what the benefits are to being awake at night. And then we're going to hand out red flashlights to everybody, have the lights off in the zoo, and you can explore the zoo in the dark with flashlights. And then after like 15 minutes, we'll all come back together and we'll talk about why reptiles or certain it, um, reptiles, amphibians, and invertebrates glow under a UV light or a black light, and why that can benefit them, how that can help. And then we're going to pass out black lights, and you're going to explore the zoo with black lights and see what glows, because there's certain things in the zoo that glow, certain animals that you would not expect, actually. We've been experimenting. So, yeah, that's going to be a uh, program that we're going to try to do once a month. Probably, maybe every other every month. Every other month. Yeah, it'll be a regular Mixed thing. Mixed in with like the necklace and the other things. Yeah, we're also going to have a reptile shed skin pendant making workshop on the office at month. Stuff like that. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. We're going to probably announce it on the Snake Discovery Facebook page in the next within the next week. Because we're going to get the sign-ups ready for yep. you to sign up online. Yep, that's my job Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday, yeah. Tuesday, something like that. Let's well, coming soon. Fun new program. So Cindy and Mom sent us some gummy worms and the oh. Hershey's, oh. but that's not the coolest thing they sent. Ooh. They sent Funny. a clay oh, statue. Oh my god, of a red-eyed croc. Of a red-eyed croc skink. That is so cool. There's even real moss on it. Yeah. Oh, Cindy, did you? You, she and her mom made this. Yep. Wow. You did a great. Let me hold this up to the camera. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah, it's not light. Okay, you guys need to, <clears throat> need to see this. Yeah, appreciate it. Look at that. Look at the details that went into making all those scales down the back. 
got a lovely red eyed crocodile skink statue. That is amazing. This is going to have to go right here. Everyone can see it. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. That must have taken so long to make. That looks really cool. All right. Um, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Megan, hope you, uh, hope the hope COVID's not too bad. Oh, no. We know a lot of people who've gotten it recently, so. I like the sable hot Oh, is that your favorite? Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Okay, I have some more packages. Oh. Here. This is one that's pre-opened. We must yeah. have thought it was something for our shop when it was our, delivered. Our employees like to open these and then go, <laughs> oh crap, that's not what we should yeah, be Yeah, the employees opening. do like to peek sometimes, which is fine. This is from, these are a bunch of little, like, products from the Piggles Company. This is actually, oh, it's an Etsy company. They sent, is there a note? I do not see a note. They just sent us a bunch of samples of their products, which are a bunch of treats. There's, oh, not for people. These are hamster treats. Wow. Huh. I wonder if this is from the same um, hamster places before. Well, so just in case here, I mean, it's from someone's small business. We always want to support those. So hang on. I thought these were for us to eat, so I'm glad I read the paper first. We have... Yeah, I'm glad we didn't just start eating. <laughs> yeah. There's... Uh, 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 focus. Fruit jam cookies. And these are for rabbits, guinea pigs, and hamsters. That's oh, cool. We've got Simply Roots. So another... Another looks like a... Oops. I'm not looking at the camera. Another small animal treat there. Okay. Nice natural ingredients. Cotton candy treats for small animals. This is, uh, there's a cheat sheet on here. Um, I don't know where the cotton candy one is. Maybe it's on another page. But another another hamster treat, cool. All right, and then there's this interesting little container here that I'm curious to see what's in. Let's see, the Piggles. Oh, you know what? I bet it's called the Piggles because these are like meant for guinea pigs and they're just good for all small animals. Strawberry swirl ice cream cookies. Okay. Like we both left because oh. we had to come over to the camera. I thought that ingredient said cat. It says oat. That makes a lot more sense. I mean, you could put cat in there. Yeah. We've got... Oh. Cat. Cat cookies! No. <laughs> Strawberry swirl cookies. Oh, and there's like little hay the in there. Rodents will love Elf. that. Yeah. Our rodents will love this. Thank you. Oh, great. Like, okay. A lot of cool re uh, reptile. Small animal safe treats from the Piggles. Check them out on Etsy. Thank you. So I have the Zeph Art Shop. They sent us a wallet, like a oh, zip-up cool. wallet with a sweet design on it. A bunch of stickers, which I need a hand. I need another hand. Can't do this. <laughs> need one more. That's awesome. A bunch of stickers oh, wow. of their cool art style. Oh my gosh. Focus. There we go. Oh, cool! I can see Some the hog screen. noses oh, hey. and the. Uh, Anaconda. Oh, it's like everything we have. Yeah, so a blue tongue skink. Oh, that's like our whole collection. And then they also stickers. sent a, an enamel pin of a hog nose. It's one of the big oh. ones, too. It requires two things. Oh. So when you get your, your backpack from uh, Margaret. Yeah, Margaret, I'm, I'm so waiting for my pin backpack. Ah, Can't Margaret. Wait. I know. Make get them your, ship faster. Yeah, make them ship to the United States faster. <laughs> I have so many fun pins I'm going to put on that. I yeah. love that pin. Here you go. Do you have the uh, business name? Can you show yes. that? Zeph Art. Zeph Art it. Shop? Perfect. That is an amazing pin. And it's a little kickoff pin. Aww. That's adorable. I really like that pin. This is, thank you, by the way, for all the goodies. This is from Bo in Australia. Oh, wow. Okay. Bo in Australia sent some cool rainbow duct tape. Okay. And we've got, whatever happened to the Alexa thing? thing? Like, do we, is it turned off? I don't know. Alexa? I think it's registered to somebody's account. So we can't, was it, there was no way to unlock or anything? I'm sure there is, I just don't have time to look at it oh, right okay. now. All right, this is, okay, we've got some artwork in here from Bo. Bo sent. Ah, <laughs> cute! Oh, really cute! It's a snake surrounding its hatching eggs. 
And we have a postcard that says, Hi, Snake Discovery. I love vipers and rattlesnakes. Oh, uh, I hope you like your present. We watch your show from Australia all the time, and I want to breed snakes when I'm older. Oh, that's awesome. It's like a half clear, but also dyed alligator figurine. Thank you so much, Bo. This is really cool. It's like, I wonder if this is like a, there's a monument or something in the middle. It must be a souvenir from where you live. I don't want that to fall at all, so that's going to go right there. Okay, it's nice and safe. I have one more big box, I think, over here. I have one from Declan from Canada. They're asking how the animals are doing, how Rex is doing. Rex is doing good. She loves her new toys. He sent over, they sent over some coffee crisp and a an, uh, mint arrow bar. Ooh. I know Emily will like this. And yes. I will like this one. Emily doesn't like these for some reason all that much. Oh, I did. Probably, oh, that's right. It's probably not enough chocolate and too much air. For <laughs> yeah, they need solid chocolate. <laughs> I do like coffee crisp. Thank you, Declan. Thank you. Cool. Love the art here. I have a, I found a little box too. This is from Jack. Box. <laughs> Don't fall. Oh, it's a lid. Ooh. Is this like a thermos? This is Jack in, oh, Georgia. <laughs> Oh, oh, I know what this Bucky's is. Bucky's stuff. Playing cards. Oh my gosh. And the Bucky's coffee mug. That's where the lid came from. Oh, for awesome. all the coffee that they're sending. And I can uh, burn it with the new coffee. Yeah, bucket. you're all set. There's a Bucky's keychain. Wow. I didn't even know how they paint these. That's awesome. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jack. That's Listen, we haven't been to Bucky's in a long time. We haven't. It's been a shame. We haven't been in the South in a long time at this point. Yeah, well, we can... we've been to South Carolina. Yeah, that's but true. But they don't have the Bucky's. They don't have Bucky's as far as I'm aware. Uh, thank you guys for giving me my Bucky's bits. We haven't been between... road tripping. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, we've just been flying straight. We've been straight. flying because we, our time is apparently more valuable now. <laughs> um, we just have too many projects. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna wait. This is a big one. All right, I got. This is my last package over here. Okay, last so two I'm packages, kind of, guys. I'm kind of like just pre. They're all in like gift wrap. Oh, really cool. Let's get the little presents. Yeah, you open that one. Okay. I know. I know you're sneaky. You're a good girl. Yeah, I know. I'm sleepy. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we all Thank are. Thank you for calling me a girl. <laughs> this is for Cheyenne. We have a uh, seed bar. It's our treat. Oh, our bracelet. Oh, there's a little flower in there. Can you tighten it? Oh, nice. Perfect. Cute. Oh, there's a real flower in there. It's like a, a resin bracelet. Thank you. Who is this from? This is from, get to the note right now. Maybe. Maybe questions? Mmm, gonna try to find random questions. To Emily. Ah, wait. I have a question. a question. Okay, <laughs> actually, no questions on the chat. What is your favorite? Hi, type Tyson? of frog. Type of frog. Type of frog. Hmm. Probably bird poop frogs right now. Previously, Amazon milk frogs followed by mossy tree frogs. Those are still really cool. But I think currently the South American bird poop frogs are my favorite. They have cute little black polka dots on their belly. They're super cute. This is from Jane from the UK. Good question, Jane. I have not thought about my favorite Ms. frog. Drawing okay. of snake discovery. Uh -huh. And then. And Jane sent Cheyenne this tree. Can snakes eat yeah. dog food? Uh, no? No, they no. can't eat dog food. But some lizards can have like yeah. wet dog food, like our legless lizards and blue tongue skinks. Like Speaking the... of lizard, we got ah, a lizard in here. And we got some sweet gummies. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, they're both for Emily and Ed. They both safe for Ed. <laughs> Too bad for Emily. There's nothing in here for her. Where's Actually, my waffle I finally off. found a card. There we go. Note from Jane. To Emily and Ed, I am Freja's mom. So this was all from Freja. Her name is Oh Freya. Sorry, oh. Freya. She's a massive fan of the channel, wants a pet snake when she gets older. She wanted to send you a few things. The box was all her creation. Aw, thank you, Freya. <laughs> uh, she is six. Her birthday is April 19th. So happy two-month-old, three-month-old related birthday. We're in England near Southampton? Southampton? Uh, 
Best wishes, Jane. Thank you, Jane. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Freya. That was an amazing bunch of gifts. These were in the other packages that were opening silently while I was talking. Did you eat all of those? No. <laughs> you ate all of those? They were really good. I had a bite. <laughs> <laughs> I love these. Okay. I didn't right. want you to take them. Well, I know where I need to get Emily a Christmas present. So I just had to eat them all. So you <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> So well, these are gone. Apparently. Yeah. Okay. Well, in other news, we have one more box. Okay. One more box over here. And uh, Ed's taking care of a spam account, I think. Is what I'm guessing you're doing. Yep. Trying? Yep, nice. Okay. Whoa. There's like pictures intertwined with the message here. To the reptile loving YouTube. Okay, I've got to pull this up to the screen. I love this letter already. To. Look at this. Look at the art that went into this. To the reptile-loving YouTube pair who's all cute and, aha, stinking red. I know that reference. Emily and her camera husband, Mike, or was it Chad? Maybe it was Dan? Oh, nice. Well, today it's Chris, I think. Yeah. Um, together you inspire us all to strive for something more. So we've sent your belly sweets and treats to even up the score. Wow, this rhymes. How much time does this take? Jeez. Five pocket monsters hide within, and each with... This is like a puzzle. Um, and each within a box with gifts for snakes and birds and s snakes and birds and snakes, okay, and humans and for crocs or gators. For human gifts, you'll need to solve a password with your minds using the initials of the Pokemon you find. Oh boy. Uh, this, this is, is going to be uh, intense. Yeah. We should probably move this over here. Okay, yeah, should we finish it over there? Yeah. Okay, let me There's finish this quick. Uh, bear with us, guys. Oh my gosh, thank you, M. Ed and M, for all the videos you make someday, we'd love to visit you. And this, the very disco snake, <laughs> disco ball, from Shelby and uh, Dina. Dina. So we have to, what is, okay. We have to make a password using the initials of the Pokemon you find. Each within a box with gifts for snakes and birds. Okay, let's figure this out. All right, I wasn't expecting like a whole, a puzzle, like a challenge. All right, well, maybe you guys watching can help us too. All right, we'll just kind of okay. move this over here. What, what do we, what happens when we get the password? Then we open a box, I guess. Oh, maybe, okay. Okay, well, so first we have to find Pokemon. Oh, I like the snake discovery color, yeah. it's your favorite. Okay, let's figure this out. In here, okay, oh. Oh, we're supposed to whack it machete? with the machete? I think we're supposed to open this one with the machete, All yeah. Right. Why don't you grab Patricia? Oh, look, they say whether or not you're supposed to use that, so no. Yes, okay. Where is Patricia? Uh, she's buried. Here, I'll open this one that's not first. I bought Patricia's sheep. Oh, there she is. Okay, oh, we've got a bunch of goodies for our red, or for the, for like baby snakes. Cute. I see a red outline. I feel like, do I lift this up? Oh. Oh, there's a clue underneath. Okay. Well, first off, thank you for these. We can use those. What's in here? Oh no, my scissors aren't on me. Should I, have... I, should I open this? Uh, yeah, hang on, hang on. I have to figure out what this is first. And then, oh, I see! The pocket monsters are Pokemon cards! Okay, so it was the first letter, right? So we have Ekans e. and E. We have an E. Should I be writing this down? Nah, I will just set up over here. Okay, okay. So we have an E. Now we have a a, a a green light for machete, so go. Oh, that one gets open with machete. I'll, open this. I'll move the box out of the way. Okay. Is it frame? Yes. Oh, jeez. And on the floor that it goes. That didn't open. I don't think Patricia's very sharp anymore. I don't think Patricia is. Well, try, use like the other side and like saw at it. Did that work beautifully? Yeah, just keep going. <laughs> okay. That's good enough. Hold it like right here. Uh oh. Hopefully it just. Oh no. I think that was supposed to be like that. Oh Hopefully. yeah. They put everything back there. Okay. What's the next clue? Rex's fish finds. Aww. I love the all the. Aww. They sent ten dollars oh Canadian. Oh my gosh. No. Okay. Canadian money is so plasticky. It, it really is. Plasticky. All right, so we got a T for Totodile. Totodile. Okay, T. Got it. Next clue. I want to keep like all these clues. This is a fun Survivor like challenge. Okay. Actually, actually I'll just pull this out. Can we just do, open them all right here? 
Okay, no machete. Got it. Open this guy. Oh my gosh. So that's what <gasps> we need. Oh my gosh. That's what we need. The Holy cow, guys. Okay. This just became like a sweet ending to this video. That did. <laughs> Hopefully everyone's still with us. It's Hopefully my clear. phone isn't gonna die. Oh yeah, what's your, it just kind of dimmed down. Yeah, I noticed that. What's your battery? Oh, I'm at 4%. Oh no, no, um, quick, get a charger. Uh, uh, how about yeah. the Alexa one? Oh yeah, that'll work. Is that the same charger? You need a different thing. You need an extension cord, quick, yeah, quick, cord. oh no. Okay, well I'll open this. Hopefully it doesn't die. Oh no, if it does, we're gonna have to finish this on another stream. All right, okay, I'll keep going. Oh, clay snake, all right. This is modeled after my new friend and first reptile adopted in August 2021. He is an albino plains hognose named Nidhog. <laughs> he loves to hide deep beneath the substrate. I wonder if anybody else is hiding in the substrate. Ooh, okay. I got it. Got that clip. That means, oh, cute. <laughs> hognose. Did you make that? That's actually really realistic. Oh, holy moly. Okay, that's gently getting placed over here. Okay, now back to figuring out the... Uh, the challenge. Oh my gosh. This is a bit. I'm gonna have to dig through this substrate to find our next clue, I think. Okay. Stream's still going, right? Camera hasn't died? Okay. I'm gonna just dig in here. Okay, the next clue, since you're back, is in this bag of substrate. Oh, so I have to dig through it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I found it. Is there an outlet over here? Uh, just against room? that wall. There's nothing on this room? Uh, this I think there's... Uh, I don't know if there is one, actually. Okay, got our clue. Um, um, Are we still recording? I think we're still going. I don't think it's died yet. Oh. No, I think we're good. Okay. Nothing on that side of the wall. Oh, no. Which oh, we have... It's a viper. We have an S. Okay. We're gonna put that over here. This is such a fun idea. Oh, uh, dang it. You need another extension? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, I don't know where there's another one. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, probably on the electronics shelf. I'll look there. You have three percent. Oh no, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Here's no machete. All right. I wonder if that has something to do with what's inside. If this is a bird-related thing, I bet this is a clue as to what's inside the box. Okay. Oh, it is. This is. Feather test for Cheyenne. Combine the first syllable. Oh my gosh, another puzzle. Okay, this is awesome. Combine the first syllable of each of these two birds' names to discover the password that will open the lock. Oh, okay, feather test one. I was worried that I wouldn't find this bird when putting this package together during the winter. Luckily, I was able to track one down and find... Oh, hmm, 